intense snail music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's just, that's the first thing on the cat. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Perfect. laughs> Hello, friends. Welcome back to another evening of D and D. We are here finally once again for mm. the Veiled Forests of Orvigo. Uh, we're just going to be waiting on DJ for a few minutes. He is outside changing the batteries in the birds, uh, or <laughs> attempting to. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have locked him out, so mm-hmm. uh, so we're going to just do a fireside instead because uh, he is he is now outside. I'm sure mm-hmm. he's. Uh, Being consumed know. by Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Probably. <laughs> or just by Alfred Hitchcock. Ooh, Perhaps wow. his ghost. Back from the grave. Yeah, yeah has come back. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh, me. <laughs> to, uh, to consume. I was a nightmare to work with. <laughs> <laughs> Get in the bird. <laughs> Free me. CMS, thank mm-hmm. you very much for the 39-month resub. We Ooh. really appreciate it. That is a lot of time. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I do not release it's you from your sentence. a lot of time to dedicate something. Dedicated mm-hmm. to something that you do hate. Hate so, hate so much. Uh-huh. You do appreciate it a lot. <laughs> That's so true. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we really appreciate it, though. Thank you so, so much. Um, uh, yeah, so I guess we'll go around the table and introduce ourselves real quick, and then we'll hang out, I guess, mm-hmm. uh, until he's done with the batteries. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyway, I am Don, and I play Flint Iron Fist in this particular campaign. I'm Sarah, and I play Chessa. I'm John, and I play Olaf. I'm Glenn, and on this Valentine's Day, I play Will You Go to Crom with me? Oh, <laughs> I didn't make it up chibi. That would have been a good <laughs> next year. Mm-hmm. Next year. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, I'm Chal, I play Minerva. I'm Mike, I play Stalk. But yeah, we're yeah. just going to uh, mm-hmm. so wait. I did make uh, Oshwamp Valentine's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hate this. <laughs> So, so much. So the birds got him. <laughs> I can't Some tell if his arms are folded behind his horrible, back. Horrible, faceless man. Oh my god, I did not see that coming. Did you flip yes. that around while... <laughs> That's honestly while more changing impressive. changing the bird batteries? Right. Yes. I didn't, I didn't even hear movement. <laughs> I'm very sneaky. <laughs> it's good to know that DJ can fully change mm-hmm. behind a, a, a half wall and no one knows. Mm-hmm. It's a good talent mm-hmm. to have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's great in... for costume changes. Uh, <laughs> it just comes Except dress. Quick change. Yeah, right. <laughs> there we go. Whew. And I'm DJ. I'm the dungeon master. That was a long way to go for that gag. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> you tired now? Very. All right. <laughs> Wrap it up. We're good to go. I didn't go anywhere, but God, I'm tired. <laughs> Whew, that, was, that was an effort, man. Just flew in, and boy, my arms are tired. <laughs> It just flew in, and boy, are birds not real. <laughs> <laughs> Can confirm. <laughs> I've seen the skies. <laughs> birds aren't there. They all, they're all they only in trees. Have you ever mm-hmm. noticed you never see a bird in the sky only in trees? Can you imagine like driving down the highway instead of like bird poop flying? It's just batteries. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> the acid that just drips from the sky. I mean, I don't remember kind moving of to Philly. Right, right? Why are the batteries flying at me? Just destroy your windshield. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh. All right. So, mm-hmm. last month. <laughs> previously on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, previously on. A month ago, mm-hmm. in a basement, mm-hmm. in a house. <laughs> in an That's island crazy. off the coast of Nova Scotia. <laughs> <laughs> Way off the coast. <laughs> so, uh, you guys sat in the tavern. The name of which escapes me. I'll have to look it up in a minute. <laughs> Um, didn't have, didn't you write the recap? Huh? No, I didn't put it in the recap. I forgot. Uh, <laughs> you messaged me and said you did. I said I wrote the recap. I didn't put it I in the recap. I the recap was a up. lot of things. You just gotta... <laughs> so, you sat with him in the tavern. The discuss- Honorable Pike. That's it. That sounds right. I turned a page and saw Talifrey Fleet Dew and lost my mind. <laughs> my, my Talibary Fleet Dew. Poor Stag Amblehorn. I watched that part of... <laughs> Amblehorn. Chell and I watched the part of Critical Role with uh, Henry Crabgrass today. Yes. <laughs> that was hilarious. Well, you have to ask permission to pour your pet deal. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. So... Uh, you guys sat with him planning your attack on the Hydra, discussing how you were going to make that work. A um, little bit of this, a mm-hmm. little bit of that. Mm-hmm. He, expl- he explained that you know when they would approach the Hydra to feed it the bodies <laughs> that were killed by the vampiric mist, uh, murderous mist, whatever. Uh, whenever they would approach with torches, it would cause the Hydra to like react violently and it would back away quickly, and it, it did not have a good time with it. 
Uh, you guys then harassed Mr. Archery for <laughs> some uh-huh. time about uh-huh. his guard training program uh-huh. and lack thereof. Uh-huh. Uh, He's bad at his job. Uh-huh. I just always wanted to be a drill sergeant. Uh-huh. <laughs> it just shows. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Um, yeah, so you argued, or fought with him about that for a while, uh, then you guys went your separate ways, um, everyone but Flint and Olaf deciding to go speak to Kian, a man that was, uh, introduced by Mr. Archery as a guard who went into the mines many times and always came out, and, uh, actually made enough working in the mines by being a guard to retire one day. So you figured if anyone was going to be a good candidate to train these guards, it would be that guy. We're very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> very wrong, yeah. Turns out that guy. The worst. The worst. <laughs> hate him. So you guys went to meet Kean, and he <laughs> uh, <I love> these. <laughs> was very firm in his belief of the fact that you're either born a fighter or you're not. And uh, was not willing to budge on that. So there was conversation took place. Eventually, Minerva got frustrated and walked away, angry, hands like sparking as she walked. Uh, while that was happening, Flint and Olaf were at the blacksmith. Um, That's right. Yep. <coughs> Forgot about that. The mm-hmm. fire spire. Fire spire. Fire spire. Fire spire. Yep. Uh, you guys made your way to his shop to speak to Talifrey Fleet Duke. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> struck a good bargain with that man, though. He did fifteen percent of any of the gold he makes off of the new gems that he gets. Mm-hmm. Uh, sum that up, cool. Oh, it was mm-hmm. the gem dealer, wasn't it? Yeah, mm-hmm. not the blacksmith. Same dude. Is mm-hmm. it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you were then greeted. You made your way over to the mines, ready to fight whatever you found. After deciding with Mister Archery that you would go in and clear them, and then take over the guard training program, and then kill a Hydra. Basically save this city from all the shit that's just been plaguing it for a very long time with no one there to solve it because the guards here are awful. We love that. Yep. Just untrained are the best. <laughs> we just have zero training. <laughs> so much potential. We just oh, have to unlock the dogs. it. <sighs> They'll figure it out as they go along. <laughs> they clearly won't. I think they will. You'll adapt. <laughs> it's a, you know. You'll adapt to reading. <laughs> True. <laughs> They'll adapt to dying. Uh, so you made your way to the mines where you were greeted by two guards. Uh, they told you, "Hey, listen, the morning crew that was supposed to clear the top level just kind of didn't instead and left without their pay." Mm-hmm. Uh, Do- Doth and Dayman, right? Doth and Dayman. That's mm-hmm. right. Yep. <clears throat> oh. And <laughs> y'all also got introduced to Derek. Spelled D A R A K. Oh, yeah. Darick. Darak. That's Darak. 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 Uh, I did not write that name down. I'm yep, happy. That one didn't I, make the book. I, I, yeah, I have forgotten it. I don't remember. Because a minute after was. he got introduced, you were told he's dead. Oh, yes. Yeah, I have in parentheses <laughs> dead. <laughs> I wrote his name, started writing about him, and then just crossed it off. Darak. Darak. And then wrote, <laughs> <laughs> was found by Darak. Man, notes really are strange. Because I have two children, one boy, one girl. That's uh, <laughs> that's his family, the absolutely paintings. from the painting. But it's just like roll it back, Talifly, Fleep, do two children, one boy, one girl. Okay, I just have the words Frank and Hydra. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I would love to see anyone try and just compile all of our notes mm-hmm. and figure out what was going on with mm-hmm. Al context. I have a smiley face on an empty page. <laughs> Don, I think that's more for you. <laughs> yeah, I think that just be a, a self note. I think that was just when <laughs> I Remember, be happy. <laughs> it was. I did the paper. It was. So, uh, yeah, they told you, you know, listen, the top room, top level, still really shitty. Be careful. Uh, yeah, so you guys entered into the mine. Oh, sorry. Minerva told these two guards that she would give them each five gold if they were to spread the word about her new guard training program that was set to take place as soon as she exits from this hellhole. She's mm-hmm. trying to contact them about their guards' extension warranty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to reach you. And 
from what I understand, you intend to use this escapade as like a uh, demonstration of our efficacy. Yes. If we survive. And your strength. <laughs> if we survive. I promise you I'm going to do so good for you guys. Right? I'm dead. <laughs> Here's some money. Yeah. I'll be back soon. I've died. Oops. <laughs> she went the way of Darak. <laughs> <laughs> Follow Darak in the sky. Here lies Darak. <laughs> Drinks are on me, Darak. <laughs> so. Goodbye. You guys entered into the mine. Uh, let's see. <laughs> After entering, you saw there was a passageway to the left, which turned sharply to the right after a little bit, and just led to nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute, hang on. The old passageway to the left that goes to the right. <laughs> okay. Well, it's to the left, and yes. then it turns to the right. Absolutely. <laughs> The old left-right pass. <laughs> exactly. The old left-right. That's what it's called. Uh, you p walked past that, and you just continued walking, uh, mm -hmm. all the while noticing that across the floor is this, like, varnish mm -hmm. upon the stone of the mine floor. Uh, mm -hmm. nice. You followed it and walked along until you hit a wall and made your left. And uh, in front of you, you saw two, like, Zamboni snails. Yeah, Zamboni snails. <laughs> snail bones. Snail bones. Snail snail bones. bones. <laughs> That's right, we did describe I've it. got a bad case of the snail bones. <laughs> <laughs> and snail bones. We that heard echoing in the chase for that. Snails hit snail bones, right? <laughs> da -na 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 -na. That's the terrible irony of it all. Snails. <laughs> so you saw two snails uh, that snail had bones. reflective I chromatic shells. They were very pretty. Chessa decided, or sorry, let me finish with the snails. Uh, they had mace-like tendrils protruding from the top of their heads. Mm -hmm. They had four of them. Oh, I mm -hmm. forgot about that bit. Uh huh. I don't think I ever knew that bit. Yeah. I don't think I knew that bit at all either. <laughs> I'll, I'll pull up a picture of them just to show you. I no. might not have thrown a rocket. Right, about snails that. don't have bones, right? I really don't know. No, but they do no. have maces. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I hope not. If they do, yeah, this is just dawning on me that now I realize there are a lot of animals without yeah. bones. Worms don't have bones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Worms don't have bones. <laughs> it's true. Things I've never thought about birds, in my life. Because mm -hmm. they're not birds real. don't have bones. Yeah. Yeah. Technically, most most if not all bugs, no bones. That's yeah, weird. Aww. Oh. Okay, I remember the picture Friends. now. I just, yeah. for some reason, Gary! totally blocked out. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, like, the tendrils are important for some reason. The tendrils didn't seem yeah. important at the time. Yeah, <laughs> you know, the big mace like tendrils yeah. on the top of the mm -hmm. head. You have to get That's the fine. One will club me and one will club you. We'll see Most what happens. Of the day. One of us will survive, the other one of us will die. <laughs> hopefully, me. <laughs> It's my one wish. <laughs> sweet release. Sweet, sweet release. <laughs> so, yeah, you saw that. Uh, Chessa attempted Papa, can you to... can hear me? <laughs> Chessa attempted to detect magic to see if she could pick up on, you know, what these things were. And rather than noticing any sense of magic coming from them, she noticed negative magic as if they just kind of weren't there at all. Uh, so, they just kind of were hanging out, and Chessa wanted to see what would happen, so she took a stone that had light cast on it and threw it in front of one of the snails. And as the stone hit the ground and sent like a loud clack out through the room that reverberated off the walls, mm -hmm. you saw the snail jump for a second before a bright flash of light just mm -hmm. erupted from its shell, stunning Olaf and Chessa. Mm -hmm. Everyone else just kind of went, ah, and got ready to fight. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's where we are. We yeah. had rolled initiative. Mm -hmm. Did you we? are in... Yes, we did. Oh, jeez. Sorry, you have a four. Oh, no. <laughs> that room. Mm -hmm. There you are. Mm -hmm. And uh, Minerva's right. leading, her, leading us off. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Can't get in. <laughs> just push the me out of the way. The hallways are ten foot across. Right? Yes, they it's are not ten. just like a, there's enough room for us to squeeze. Can get by though. Just push. Knock me over. Mm. I don't care. Yeah, mm. I'm gonna. I guess just use my action to run in and see what the hell is going on. Mm -hmm. Um. Are you gonna use your action or your? Uh, not my not my action. I'm gonna run in. Mm. I'm gonna run 60 feet straight. I just gotta go. You run right between them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, Lira. what That's do I? Turn. So, no. When I get in, what do I see them doing? Like, <clears throat> so I we saw the big flash of light. Mm -hmm. What are they doing? Uh, currently, the one that just gave off the flash of light because it was facing away from Chessa is actively spinning around. So you would see it's like four head tendrils just kind of like snaking wildly. Okay. As it turns around. Uh, 
That's a fine sentence. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Does it? Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> does it look very hostile? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's flailing its mace-like <laughs> tentacles around violently. <laughs> It's good. Mm. I'm a snail. <laughs> Is that what he says? Yeah. Okay, good. I, I so. am... <laughs> seeing how large and intimidating this thing is, I'm going to cast Bane on it. Okay. Ooh. Read Bane for me. Sure. Uh, Did I tell anyone about the anti-magic? You of all people don't know Oh, Bane. Well, I should <laughs> understand the Bane. Bane, it sounds so familiar. If it's familiar. a condition, if it's like a saving throw. Um, it's a charisma saving throw, but she's absolutely casting a spell on it. So, up to three creatures of my choice uh, that I see within range make charisma saving throws. Uh, whenever a target that fails the saving throw makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, the target must roll a d4 and subtract that number rolled from the attack or saving mm-hmm. roll. Okay, so it makes what well, saving throw? I'm sorry, it wasn't listening. Uh, charisma. Charisma. And it says I can cast up to three creatures, so I guess I'll cast it on the... Uh, on both third. of them? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Olaf. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, the first one rolled a 14. Okay, succeeds. Mm-hmm. And the second one... They might not be charismatic. A 16. They both succeed. Uh, mm-hmm. Hang on. You're dead. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Rip. Cool. This is fun. Mm-hmm. So, you cast Bane on it, mm-hmm. and you watch as like I, I don't know how to really describe Bane, but we're gonna I'm gonna do my best. You see like kind of ethereal blackish aura energy just kind of like start to seep toward it, mm-hmm. and as it hits the shell, mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm-hmm. uh. And make a saving throw. God damn it, jeez. <laughs> make a charisma save mm-hmm. as it reflects the bane back to you. Mm-hmm. What happened to my rock? It's still there. It's still there. Uh, it's and nine. A mm-hmm. nine? You're bane. Ow! You're bane. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. The spell reflects back at you. Is it the I'm rubber, you're glue bit? Uh huh. <laughs> okay, he's on me. Mm-hmm. No, you! <laughs> and you, no, target, you targeted two of them. Mm-hmm. Oh, no! God mm-hmm. damn it. The other one has no additional effect. It just does, it doesn't seem to be affected by your bane. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. And uh, now it's the snail's turn. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which, which snail? Snail one or two? Snail one. Snail one. Snail number one. Yep, yep. Uh, it is going to... Snail forward. Oh no! He's still he's still <laughs> turning around. Guys, it's been good knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you look at what these snails do? Please tell you me you us? just get to like consume a person who's stunned, just like full on eat them, bones oh. and all. Nope. Snail one is gonna move up to Chelsea as it does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because oh, just... I don't like this one. This one scares me. I know it's not. You made it. Uh, now do I roll a d4 on the attack? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I get a d4 <laughs> on a saving throw. Could have made snails. Wishful thinking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want so me dead? <laughs> it could have been helpful. Does a 14 hit? It does not. How about an 18? Nope. Mm-hmm. Does a 14 hit? Yes. 20. That's my AC, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One. Nice. Uh, that's a 10. A 21. Does mm-hmm. not hit, believe it or not. <laughs> so two hit? Okay. Mm-hmm. Two hit. Uh, oh, it's not bad. 50 points of damage. 16 times. <laughs> yeah, right. The old five heads. Bam! <laughs> well, it, it makes it's one attack for tentacles. each tentacle, mm-hmm. and I was wrong. It doesn't have four. It has five. I am a So it's just playing me like a xylophone. <laughs> <She's just laughs> <speed head. laughs> tentacle. Mm-hmm. Makes tentacle heads just... Love it. Mm-hmm. I'm all about uh, this shit, dude. You take... <laughs> If the snails can make it, does that make it like the, uh, those, like, those, the drum things? You take 12 bludgeoning damage. 12? Hot, hot, hot. 12. Okay. Hot, hot, hot. And the rest of you watch as after this snail just, like, I'm going to... Wallops her? I'm going to say it comes down with its tentacles like a wave. So it's left oh, and like kind of rolls. Kind of deal? Mm-hmm. Oh. So only the two in the middle hit, and they just both, as it lifts its tentacles <laughs> back up, they get to about halfway before you watch them just slowly recede into the shell. Nice. And now there's just a shell of a snail there. Nice. And we go to Flint. 
<laughs> Sorry, bud. All right. Fun figuring out what to do. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak my way on in here up to this one. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, and having seen that number two magic mm-hmm. doesn't work. Uh, I'm gonna pull out my pillowcase full of knives. You're <laughs> 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 You're lucky I flipped back through my notes and saw a pillowcase full of knives. Uh, Time to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, Do you have a, what, what's the bonus on that one? I was just going to use my hand axe for that because this is Works. more for flavor purposes. Because uh, I'm not going to cast magic on it having seen it fail. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna hit it with my pillowcase full of knives. <laughs> hit a snail with a pillowcase pillow. full of knives. <laughs> God, I love D and D. Right. <laughs> only, uh, only that's here. a fifteen. Uh, fifteen will not hit. Okay. Oof. So you swing your pillowcase full of knives, and where usually you hit something hard to where you know they have a chance, the knives have a chance to like yep. break through the pillowcase. Since it's soft and squishy, it just kind of like bounces into it like it's SpongeBob. Okay. It and nothing happens. Is it? doesn't stab into it. Yep, that is uh, that is it for me, because I'm not going to be using uh, uh, magic. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like a bad plan. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that doesn't seem like Try a good it, Let's idea. find out what happens. Nope. I'm Geologist blasted. Gonna... <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for that to bounce back and hit, sh- hit me in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me hex it first. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I fail. All right, I'm going to catch hold person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hold each other. Let me hold this snail person. <laughs> All right. And then we got to stop. <laughs> All right. Uh, did I ask if this is a monstrosity already? You did. It's not. <laughs> okay. Just making sure. Uh, it's an monstrosity. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to climb up this wall above where they are and throw some daggers at the one that's not in a shell. Okay. Uh, without casting any spells. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just clicked to my spell tab that oh, fast. Okay. I thought it was Fuck! <laughs> yeah. I, was, I almost did. I'm like, wait. The I have impulse a bonus is action. too strong. Uh, yeah, no bonus I'm action. a wizard. Mm-hmm. It just notified me that you rolled. Oh, uh, it would actually be hmm? uh, roll take a seventeen. Sorry, oh, no. I, I, I looked at the wrong thing. A seventeen would hit. Okay, cool. Yeah, I looked at the. Could do wrong. that because I'm reading yep. my new features. This is the first <laughs> fight where I have them. Oh, this is, is this our first episode after Tasha's? So it notifies you. No, when no, I was level two and one. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. right. Now I'm three and one. Uh, so that's six points of damage. Nice. My what time? Is full of daggers. That would, that would be probably bludgeoning or piercing. Pierce, yeah, piercing, for sure. Mm. Cool. Kind of cool. Thank you. Thanks. Do you thank the snail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Jeff>. Hello! <laughs> Derek. So is the only <laughs> source of light in this room the, the light ball? Yeah, the stone in the middle of the room, yeah. I mean, there's dim light throughout because, you know, this is so closely connected to the main hallway, so there's dim light throughout, but... Okay. Flint Iron Fist rolled initiative. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it's so cool. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Where is this feature? All right, I'll figure that out next time. Uh, so on the first turn of combat, I get an extra attack now. So that's neat. Uh, that yeah, neat. So I'm going to throw, uh, use my first attack and uh, throw a dagger at him. Uh, that is a 20-something to hit. Oh, yeah, that'll hit. Uh, and then the extra attack uh, is going to be... Oh, well, not the extra attack. My normal two-weapon fighting second attack. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a 16 to hit. Uh, that will hit. And Sweet. then the extra attack from Dread Ambusher. Nice. Is... Only gonna be a thirteen to hit. That will not. No. (laughs) (laughs) It's the one with the extra damage. (laughs) You bitch. Uh God, Shaw, do you have enough dice? Alright, so I hit with Mm -hmm. two. Could have more. Jealous. Never Mm -hmm. enough. Could have more. Did I make you a dice bag? You did not. But I'd love one. (laughs) My bag is too small. Mm -hmm. Uh it's eighteen piercing. Whew. Okay. The two. Where's that calculator? 18 plus 1. Help me. I don't have enough fingers. All right, so y'all watch. Mm -hmm. Stop. Flings a dagger from the wall. Mm -hmm. You see it flies, and we're going to go with uh, the far right one 
it mm-hmm. slashes into the far right tentacle, and you see it begin to like kind of hang, and mm-hmm. then another dagger quickly after, which hits what's left over and just, just completely severs that one tentacle. Nice, very good. Which means I gotta find a way to mark. You do. Oh, I'll just mark how many it's lost rather than how. <laughs> anyway. Do you lose that concentration tallies. when you're stunned? Yes. I want to say yes, but I'm not 100%. I don't think it's something that, like, is immediately dictated, but it's absolutely a thing that is justifiable to ask for a concentration check for. But I... I mean... I I would say, typically, you invoke the save. Yeah. That sounds fair. So, con save. That's a 15. I'm not stunned, I'm just baned, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Its head, one of its tentacles, just dropped to the floor, and then it's its turn. It's its turn. And Flint, you're the one right in front of it. I sure am. <laughs> Thanks for getting in there, buddy. <laughs> Hello, Hello friend. pillow boy. Did what, I Did what I could, you know. All right. Uh, that is going to be a twenty-one and a sixteen to hit. Mm-hmm. On the first. Mm-hmm. Okay, so those two hit. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then a 24 and a 23. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> now pre-rolling dice is the way to go. Told you. Oh, God. It's... Little one, thank you very much for the resub. Thanks. Oh, 100 no. points of damage. <laughs> uh, it's, well, we're probably looking at 18 to 25. Uh, all of its tendrils. All, <laughs> all of the damage. Every tendril. <laughs> all four tendrils. He just slams his whole face on the floor. Slap down onto Flint, and you just hear a pummeling of just... <laughs> and you take 23 points of <gasps> there you go. Oh, oh, bludgeoning God. damage. Oh, no. Thank you for being there. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for being yeah, there. Right. Yeah, no, you're stunned. We would have gotten rolled. <laughs> uh, and then you're welcome. And I don't have a lot of a health. A lot of health. And once again, just I'm but a wizard. Mm-hmm. You I see don't the shell good. like gently mm-hmm. rock on the stone. You hear it clatter like clack, 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 throughout the room. Uh, uh, Olaf, who's stunned. Yep. Crom. Who's not stunned? No, I'm feeling pretty good actually. Um, now, with them being stunned, are they still standing? Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna walk up behind Olaf and grab his collar and tip him backwards mm-hmm. so that I can and pull him <laughs> back down the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Sure. Yeah, you pallet jack Olaf. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm doing the wheels. Me. <laughs> you just slap him on a hand truck like you're delivering an appliance. So, just come on, buddy. Here we go. Yeah. yeah so uh, I'll just bring him back to the end of the hallway there. Mm-hmm. Um. I feel safe. And both of the uh, the snails are in shells. Yep. And also, I'm I'm gonna. S- Say that would probably consume your action too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm safe now. Mm-hmm. Which is important. Mm-hmm. It's good for me. <laughs> Don's dying. Oh yeah. But I'm in good shape. I'm in a bad spot. I'm in better shape now. <laughs> you'll, you'll be all right, Don. I got moved out. Well, now I'm just, I'll run just back in. Progressively, <laughs> progressively pallet jack the party out of the room. Mm-hmm. Nope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're just standing there. <laughs> and then Sarah, who's stunned. I'm on my way. Mm-hmm. Also. Mm-hmm. Shut up. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for this thing. You were before prom, right? Mm-hmm. I rolled an 11. I would have got both of you guys, but I don't have enough carrying weight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not strong enough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Okay. A lot um, very large. Mm-hmm. So, I didn't read this before we started again. It's fine. It doesn't really change anything in the past. 
but mm -hmm. the one that did emit the bright light is still actively emitting the bright light. Very good. That's all. Okay. Uh, and we go to Chessa, who unfortunately is stunned. Mm -hmm. We go back to the top with Minerva. Mm -hmm. Um. So the thing is in its shell. Yes. Mm, what is the shell? Look? I like. I saw a picture of it, but does it like? Does, it looks like it's just made of like a shell. It doesn't look like it's made of like metal yeah. or anything crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to try to break the shell that it's hiding in. Okay, make, make an attack roll. Use the glorious morning star. <laughs> Don't forget your bane. Mm -hmm. How could I forget my beautiful bane? <laughs> fourteen. A fourteen will not hit. So you swing your morning Donk. star and just <laughs> conk. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> and then that's it. Uh, so now we go to snail number one. Mm -hmm. And it's until the s end. Okay. So it's still just brightly shining. Even mm -hmm. out, like the shell is shining. Mm -hmm. It's emitting like a very bright light. The now, whole snail was lit up, basically. It's just the shell. Just but, the shell. Right. So the slug part, when we saw it, was not right. lighting up. Was not lit up, correct. Uh, it emits light in a 30 foot, so it's bright for 30, dim for 30. Mm -hmm. So it's very bright. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, as its shell begins to rock and clack, clack, clack again, and slowly five tendrils and the snail body just come out and bleh. <laughs> I'm a snail. <laughs> I'm a snail. Bleh. Bleh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to attack Minerva, and it's just going to flail its head at her again with its tendrily head. <laughs> Bring it on, old man. Never mind! <laughs> it's a nat 20, and I'm going to die. So it's a nat 20. Of course it is, so oh no! <laughs> and a 20. No! So nat 20 and a dirty 20. Yep, they both hit. God, I can't wait till like four of us die to snails. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I really wanted to go. Right? And you're safe in the hallway. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, thank God for crime. You want to go get a drink, buddy? It's more our dead friends. Escar time to go. <laughs> yeah, we got to escar and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> On the plus side, those are the only ones that hit. Great. Mm -hmm. What's the damage? You're lucking out here, man. 38. <laughs> You're lucking out. Six you take 10 bludgeoning from the crit. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not terrible. Mm -hmm. And then... I was waiting ten for that. 10 from the crit. <laughs> that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> and 7 from the non-crit. Okay. As two of the tendrils, bam, and just mm -hmm. pound into Minerva. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like... Face is all bloody. Like, oh, dear out. God. <laughs> is that what you got? Remember that time you said you were going to train the guards? <laughs> no wonder Derek died in here. Home. I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> I, I will say, I, I remember after the last episode talking to Chell and saying, you know, you equated all these people dying with the fact that they're unskilled and untrained. Mm -hmm. and not, not that the monsters are terrible. And not that it just might be super. Super dangerous. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's the end of its turn. Mm -hmm. Its tenderly head is still just out and just on the snail. It's really metal. Snail. Also, we take our pearl gem, believe it or not. <laughs> right. Snaily better. Yeah. Don't call me a snail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Oh, gosh. All right, uh, then we go to Flint. God, could you imagine, like, hearing that from a distance, <laughs> turning a corner and seeing a shiny snail in the group? Fuck out. Demon blue. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I in? <laughs> this isn't a mine. This is a nightmare. Uh, it's uh, covered in plaid. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna disengage and move. Run away. <laughs> okay, go. go. Run away into the night, dude. Yep, please. I gotta back up. Uh, and I. Uh, yeah, there's. <laughs> Stalk has the opportunity to move. Uh, I'm up. Yeah, he's, he's up on the he's, ceiling. He's on the it's also yeah. 10 feet wide, so you're good. You can run out. Yeah, but I don't want. Uh, I don't want Chessa to get hit. I mean, yes, you do. <laughs> if I move. At this point, you she's not stunned now. 
Yes. Oh, all right. The light ended. Sorry, I forgot that too. Oh. At the end of its turn, the light you see just kind of like sucks back into the shell. Okay. Yeah, she's not stunned. Yeah. I'm, I'm going gonna... to go. And I'm going to run the fuck in there. Just... I'm going to rock a bop these snails right <laughs> back, dude. We're going walloping. <laughs> is that hallway here, or is it just, or did we just shift over so it was a bigger space? What? No, that hallway should be there, yes. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to. Goodbye. Good luck. Bye. Have a good time. Just dips. These snails are too big to fit through the door. We established that, right? They are large, yes. <laughs> Eat shit, snail. But bye. <laughs> I'm gonna just. Uh, then I'm gonna bonus action to healing word myself. <laughs> this is the worst experience of my life. One. No, two. I That's not it. bad. That's average. It's pretty good. Six hit points. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. a solid 15. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No. <laughs> I'm just going to... Okay. Ooh. And then we go to Stalk. All right. So you got one that's still out with five tendrils, one that's in with four. Oh, it'd be so dope to use, like, actual hermit crabs for this fight. Mm -hmm. No. It's so funny. It's all, no, it's a shell. We gotta go to the Jersey Shore. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> it's only a couple hours drive. And uh, the <laughs> so the snail crabs. light went out, but the regular light is still going. Correct. Yep. I'm gonna use my bonus action since I can't do any of my other cool bonus actions. Uh, I'm gonna try to throw my cloak to cover that light in the center of the room. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, make <laughs> make a dexterity check. Sure. Like the rock? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Dwayne. Dexterity, uh, 14. Yeah, I'll say that succeeds. You watch as mm -hmm. Stalk's cloak just kind of like billows down from the ceiling. I don't know what this motion is supposed to replicate, <laughs> but we're doing it. I, I got what you were That's me in the club. <laughs> no, I got it. I see it. <laughs> It's a good visual. Well, it's a different visual now. I saw no the that time. lady was asking yeah, me yeah, a name. How she resist? You're just standing alone in a corner. <laughs> She's got some good moves. Nice. I think that man's having a seizure. <laughs> Did we call someone? I think I go over and check on What him. is that? That's why she was bumping you is to see if you were calling me. She was like trying to check his pulse. He's like, what are we doing? Back Calm the fuck up. <laughs> It's a, it's a thermometer. <laughs> <laughs> <Bend over. laughs> so Stalk's cloak floats down from the ceiling and lightly covers the light rock. And you can see like the faint glow of it beneath the fabric still. It's mm -hmm. not enough to shed light in the room, but you can still see it glowing against the underside of the fabric. Mm -hmm. uh, it is now dark. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyone with dark vision then can no longer see me at all. I am mm -hmm. invisible to creatures with dark vision. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. So I will disappear <laughs> to anyone that had dark vision. And then I don't know if I was even aware you were there. <laughs> <laughs> you sure aren't anymore. Uh, then I'm going to move now that I'm invisible, just a little bit, in case that matters, and uh, throw some daggers at the snail with his uh, things out. I, uh, I'll crawl toward the left. I will say they have tremor sense. Mm -hmm. Would that work on a wall? Ooh, mm. that's a good so point. I, mm -mm. No? I, I, I don't yeah, think I would he would detect no. you on a wall. Is yeah, what I'd say no. That's nice. Because right. he's touching the floor. Because well, mm -hmm. it's not the same surface Correct. he's on. If he were on the wall because he's a snail and Ken, Correct. I'd say that. Yeah, yeah. Roper upside down on a ceiling has tremor sense, detects a dude on the ceiling. Absolutely. I would say that that would be the same justification. Yeah. So, like... Nice. Yeah, so I think beat Daredevil good. walls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So I'll throw some daggers. He said, how you beat Daredevil? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Get off the wall. <laughs> Fight me like a man. Uh, Max, so on the wall. 19 to hit on the first one. That'll hit. And uh, 17 on the second. That'll also hit. All right. It's like that scene from the Spider Man movie. <laughs> what are you doing up there? <laughs> Staying away from you. All right. That'll be 11 piercing damage. <laughs> 11? Okay. Cool. So you watch as Stalk flings two more daggers down at the one with its tendrils out. And once again, you watch them. I'm going to do them Robin Hood this time. Where you see them like one after another, pretty immediate. Just. Mm -hmm. and yeah, another... We didn't see shit. Mm -hmm. yeah, you just see, see daggers. daggers. <laughs> just materializing. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and they just. Right mm -hmm. through the tendrils, or tendril, and you watch it drop to the ground. Mm hmm. And 
And then we go to Snail 2, mm -hmm. who is in his shell. Mm -hmm. So he's going to yeah. out yeah, from his shell. That's this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. I had advantage because they couldn't see me. Mm -hmm. so my there sneak attack. Dig for six, the crit. six more damage. No, no. I used advantage. Oh. I didn't apply sneak attack. Oh, six uh, more? Yeah, six more damage from one of the daggers. Cool. Nice. Okay. So who do we got over there? Because I can't that's quite see. me. It's just Sarah. Yeah. Who's between Sarah and the wall. Stalk. That's that's stalk up invisible. I'm on the wall though. Yeah, I'm yeah. not actually. There. Sarah, it's I'm me. sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. I threw a rock. It's my mm -hmm. fault. You see him just. We could have avoided this entire encounter. Mm -hmm. And he moves his ten feet to you. <clears throat> mm-hmm. That's all he's got is ten feet of movement because mm -hmm. he's a snail. Mm -hmm. That's also all he needs. So. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna tendril head you. I'm gonna dodge out of the way. Chesso's oh, not within hope. five feet of me, right? That's technically ten feet. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. mm -hmm. First one is a seven. No. <laughs> the second is the yeah, fact that you look. I am a wizard. So. The second is like a, a negative four dex. <laughs> I can't move. So wow. Why are we bringing this? <laughs> then a fourteen. Fourteen hits. And a twenty-four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. No, no to the twenty-four. <laughs> that one doesn't hit. <clears throat> I didn't get to use mage armor, so Don't yeah. you dare Jack Bauer, man. All, <laughs> these are like golf rules, right? Lowest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Ten. Some Minecraft music. The amazing roller coaster that is DJ rolling <laughs> dice. <laughs> Woo! Uh, you, you take 20 damage. <laughs> as it... <laughs> Please, you like We're a supposed to drum. clear out these caves of uh, monsters. We're gonna go take a nap after the fucking snails. We'll be back tomorrow. Dude, Don and they renew each day. We yeah. can level up so much by snail grinding. Uh -huh. It's the boars in the forest. After one month, it's just like a job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No wonder why people do this. It's great go coin and good snails. work. Good morning. <laughs> Fuckers! <laughs> Everybody do their positions. <laughs> the Stark it on the wall. You guys walk in, get stunned. Uh, All right. Um, so that's its turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> so, just want to uh, come over and kick my ass do you too. Want to switch to the uh, um, Yes. I. We find it. It's I slow am, music because I am snail. bloodied. Uh -huh. I should probably indicate that you're indicate dying. Indicate that I. I'm not. Looking <clears throat> good. I just came out of a daze, and I am. He went. Huh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's the end of its turn. <clears throat> then we go to Olaf. Fan. <laughs> Fucking fantastic. <laughs> From man. deeper in the dungeon, you hear a building scream. Just. Leroy! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a running start, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have bonus action, and even though you said these are 10 feet hallways, yeah. I'm 100% going large. Get the fuck out of here! Leroy! <laughs> I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna fucking punch this first one in front of Jason. <laughs> in the goddamn fucking mouth. <laughs> oh. It does not matter. I love it. Uh huh. I imagine you just like steamrolling it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that is a 22. That'll hit. I can't wait to punch the fuck out of this. Because <laughs> I don't have a weapon out. <laughs> my hands are... Your hands are your weapons. My hands are my weapons now. Uh, 13 bludgeoning damage. <laughs> We're going to Pound Town, dude. I fucking <laughs> took on armed fighting. I swapped. Uh, Thank you, ASI class variant... <laughs> So you, you all here? We're going oh, where, John? Beginning to run. Uh oh, glad her. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you hear Olaf beginning to run in his footsteps, starting off normal at first, and then growing heavier and louder as he's growing in size, sprinting in, and he runs up and just. With all of his momentum, just Superman punches into this poor <laughs> snail. Growing in size mm -hmm. and going to pass. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just pictured like, like one of those old timey cartoons where the person. Giant's might, man. The person's face just caves in and there's like a fucking old jalopy horn. Boom! Oh, yeah. 
And you watch as Olaf punches this snail in the face so hard. <laughs> One of its tendrils, <laughs> like a, a piece of spaghetti flung off a spatula. Mm-hmm. <laughs> off a spatula? Sorry. weird imagery. That's better. It's like a lot of spaghetti. <laughs> Yeah, you know, when you when it's toasted and you gotta flip it over. It looked like spaghetti, it looked like that. <laughs> and it just end over end floppily flies through the air. Oh. Stick, stick to the wall. Pot of water, just <laughs> is it like a sticky hit? Yeah, yeah. Does it stick to the wall? Yeah, was it done? <laughs> yeah, is it cooked? Is it done? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> it hits effect. the wall and just slowly slides down. Yeah, it's not, see, it's not done it's yet. It's not done. Yeah, <laughs> keep cooking. <laughs> uh, so one tentacle has fallen off, right? This is now down to three tentacles on yes. this guy? Yep. Fantastic. I'm going to action search. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> uh, left I'm going to attempt to, I'm going to replace, and instead of utilizing an attack to actually hit it, I'm going to attempt to shove it. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my momentum! <laughs> that one didn't even roll, it just hit the table. Yeah, dude, it was just like, no, we don't shove things here. That's rude. We only punch them in the fucking jaws. <laughs> All your momentum feeds just right into the first punch, and then you just stop, and you have no more. That like, it fun. all carries into your punch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In my head, I saw it as like one of those old timey movies where it was like they go to throw the punch and somehow like flip over onto their back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. And then I'm good. Cool. Uh, So you now see, like, it's got two bloody stumps just Mm -hmm. where snail tendril maces should be. Uh, Yeah. And then that's Olaf, and we go to Karam. Cool. Both of them are out of their shells, right? No. No. Only number two, the one with three tendrils, is out of its shell. The one in front of Minerva is closed, right? Wait, it went back in its shell after Mm -hmm. it hit me? Yes. Okay. Because uh, no, I think I hit it. One. Mm-hmm. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Hit. I thought you said they both stayed this time. I thought even after the first one hit that you said he stayed out. Because it would have gone the first one hit and then went in his shell. The second one would have moved forward, <coughs> hit, and went in its shell. Next round, the first one comes out, hits, can't go back in its shell. Yes. Se- second one comes out, out, hits, and so can't go out. back in. Right. So they're yeah, both they out. They are both out. You're yes. right. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna move up down the hallway right behind my, my big old buddy Olaf there. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna pull that bottle of whiskey out of his pocket. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mine out. <laughs> sure, okay. I'm gonna stuff some lightning. <laughs> Molotov? Yeah. Lightning. I'm gonna fashion a Molotov out of the bottle. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm gonna cook this snail. <laughs> okay, that's got, got to so go. you you have a torch. I remember because you had Minerva light your torch. So mm-hmm. I'll say you light the rag on the torch and you fling it. Mm-hmm. Make your attack roll. Yeah, which one? Where is this going? The one in front of me. Yeah. Okay. That guy. The one in front of Charles, number one. Mm-hmm. Make your attack roll. Am I adding anything to that, or I don't even I'll know save. how you'd want to rule that. <laughs> Can't wait till you natural one and release way too late and it hits me in the face down the other hallway. <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> oh, um, oh. I'll say add your dexterity mod mm-hmm. um, and proficiency. I'm sh- at this point, you're probably proficient with throwing things. Mm-hmm. You throw magic stones. This is kind of like that's going to be a dirty 20, my friend. Mm-hmm. Dirty 20? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Eat the flames. Mm-hmm. So you yeet this bottle mm-hmm. and you watch it fly through the air and collide into the snail's shell. Mm hmm. And as the bottle breaks and all the whiskey ignites and burns, you see it just drip down the snail shell. Mm. And... You're on fire. (laughs) Now I'm going to say it it, uh, probably... Roughly a five foot circle, I -hmm. think is fair. Mm -hmm. Five foot area of just burning whiskey. Uh, It runs down under the snail and Mm. you see it just burning from under the snail. And the snail does not seem phased. Mm. I still have fuck. <laughs> fire damage resistance is not so ideal. Like fire. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh jeez. Um, mm-hmm. Does anything look weird as I see this happen to this snail? What do you mean look weird? I have detect magic still. Oh, still uh, going. no. But you do see, you know, the the flames now are like rising out from the side of the snail, more toward the side. 
<coughs> uh, giving more light in this room now. So, no. <laughs> and a fiery Zamboni. I'll say it's, it's <laughs> flame and Zamboni. It, it makes sense. It, I, I would yeah. be visible. It's dim light. It's not going to be as bright as the stone, but it's dim light. And I'm going to say it didn't happen near Stalk's cloak, so it's not going to slowly burn that away. Um, I got extra clothes. You're good. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not worried about. I am a gracious DM. That's why I put these two snails here. So uh, generous. And then we go to Chessa. So, I will ask. I have a spell that I've yet to use. Um, that does require kind of a weird component. Um. You have a component pouch, right? I have right? a component pouch. A component pouch is used in in lieu of material components, right? Like as well, a it's, I mean, it's consumed. It's not consumed, no. Then you're fine. Yeah, you're good. All right. So I see this. We've got this snail here. That's it. Does the one snail that's just been punched <laughs> um, look like it's? <laughs> it, oh, like, uh, it is very bloody. It's, Sorry. it's bloody. It is All very right. bloody. Yeah, very punched. So I'm going to uh, cast. No, oh, I'm going to cast uh, Maximilian's Earthen Grasp and mm-hmm. a five foot hand. Okay. Um, appears out of the earth and is. See, I. Just grabs it, onto the shell. It can reach shell. to one creature, so it's gonna grab the one in the shell that it's on that is on fire. With the three tentacles, because that's the one you hit, right? Was mm-hmm. the one that only had three tentacles left? Yeah, mm-hmm. this one, this one right here. One, correct. The you one hit in... one. Mm-hmm. Okay, snail number one. Snail number one. So you're also here. hitting snail number one. I'm also mm-hmm. hitting snail number one. Cool. Um, so it has to make a strength saving throw. <laughs> uh, that is going to be a thirty twenty. Uh huh. Mine. When you said dirty, I thought you said 30. Like 30, 20? <laughs> 30, 20. Oh, I got a 50. Uh, what year is this? <laughs> Marty! Marty! <laughs> Where are we? The year is 30, 20, Doc. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so you see the hand come out and just grab on the snail's shell. And the snail just kind of sits there. <laughs> no. And then watch the hand just kind of like uh, crumble as it tries to squeeze. No, it just... stays. Oh, it stays there? Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's just there, like, trying to grab it and just can't. <laughs> you see it's, like, fingers, like, slipping off of it, like it's grabbing. I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you. Uh, and then we go back to the top with Minerva. All right, so as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Channel Divinity, Vow of Enmity, mm-hmm. uh, which means I get advantage on all attack rolls against it for a minute. On which? Okay. On, oh, I'm, on this guy right here. I'm also going to creep back down this hallway. As well, just as a Big movement. Okay. <laughs> bop, 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 bop. <laughs> Are you leaving at space? Yeah. Oh, it's right in front of me, isn't mm-hmm. it? Oh, yeah. yeah. It is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> never mind. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to cast Channel Divinity and then I'm going to boop it with my morning star. It doesn't make a saving throw against that, does, does not. it? It just happens. I just do it. <laughs> Fair. Please don't fuck me up, dice. Send me to the Shadow Realm, shall Two net ones. Do I still have Bane? Yes. Yeah. It's natural 20. It doesn't matter, then. You're yeah, still so critting. Mm-hmm. 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 How long does Bane last? Also? One minute. One minute? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you're still Bane. Yeah. An eternity in combat. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're Bane for a while. So do I mm-hmm. like? I do the minus four to the natural 20? Not to the natural 20. Nope. Okay, you're, okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um. All right, so that's going to be... Let me get my calculator. It's my oh my god. <laughs> DJ, out of curiosity, can you roll me an athletics or an acrobatics check? Just because for when I did not want, if you also not want, when I attempted to shove, we would have actually had to check mods. <laughs> 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 All right. uh, the odds oh. of you actually not wanting, I'm not even going to ask to retro apply it. I was just like, 
Okay. <laughs> I assume that was like, it's not actually going to happen. It's fine. It sh- if it did roll in that one, I would have let it happen. Right. I would have let it happen. I'm going to ask this every single time I nat 20 because one day I'll get it down. It's not going to be today. So you, you I tapped the, the first dice. So mm-hmm. it was a D8. So it's eight plus mm-hmm. whatever I roll and mm-hmm. plus my modifier. Correct. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's 18 damage. Mm-hmm. On Ooh. number on one? On numero uno. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just screaming, just like look at this head that looks like my morning star, and just. Wah! <laughs> sure, sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you smack into it with your morning star, mm-hmm. and it just bludgeons off an entire part of its head. Okay. Uh, and you watch one of the tendrils flop to the ground. All right, and then I'm also going to smite. You used your channel divinity. That's right. Section. I can't. Never mind. You can divine smite. That. Yeah. Is that not a bonus action? No. It's nothing. Yeah. No. Oh, shit. Yeah. Go mm-hmm. ahead and smite him too then. DJ, you play a paladin. <laughs> 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 the last combat we had, I got stunned. Like, I haven't done much with Neskrim. <laughs> <laughs> Neskrim's there, but he doesn't really contribute yeah. in combat He's at all. He's IEC cannon fodder. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, so come on. You're capping you the cap divine too, smite yeah. and roll. Mm-hmm. Same as, yeah. Because it's critting. Right. Divine okay. Smite is being applied to the hit that you've done. Okay, so it's also so it's 2d8, so do I cap the 2d8? Yes, yes. Uh-huh. so it's 16 plus the 2d8 yeah. that you're rolling. Additional 25 radiant damage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you watch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just faint <bait> roll. <laughs> Takes off all of its tendrils in one swipe. You watch these tendrils just fly in the air after her morning star cuts and bludgeons through them. <clears throat> <clears throat> Gotta give me a moment here. <laughs> Thank Bless you, John. You. Thank you. Morning. <laughs> morning. Morning. <laughs> and you watch as after all of its tendrils fly in the air. It's <laughs> bless, bless you, you again. Bless you. Thank you. Its body begins to just rescind back into its shell. Mm-hmm. And as it's doing so, you start to hear faintly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you hear faintly. <laughs> sneezing in the distance. <laughs> you hear faintly, starting faintly at least, just. <laughs> and the snail screams. <laughs> And it's just screaming now. Me too. I'm also screaming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everybody in the room. <laughs> Four. It's screaming. We're screaming back at it. <laughs> Does anyone know what's happening? <laughs> Where am I? How big's the area? <laughs> Is it the 30 feet that I want it to be? Huh? Is it the 30 feet that I want this to be? Like what? Screaming? Uh, that can be heard to 600 feet. That's much bigger than I thought, this but that's even better. This is super loud. Very good. And it just, it's going to keep screaming for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So it's dead. And screaming? <laughs> and screaming. <laughs> okay, the dead one is screaming. No. All right. There's nothing we can do about it. Stop like, it! Is it like deflating? Yeah, like it's a fucking circle balloon? King oh, oh, sure. God. If that helps, sure. <laughs> so it's just the air escaping mm-hmm. from this deflating snail. Just stuff your pillowcase in the shell. <laughs> yeah. the mm-hmm. Clog up the hole, it's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, uh, then we go to Flint. Great. Get in there, buddy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got, what, nine hit points now? Now uh, 15, we're good. Yeah, dude, you're great. You're we're good. You're we're good. good. Yeah, Looking I'm getting in there. Me. I'm going to creep around that corner and come on to the side here and smack him with my fucking uh, pillowcase. Smack him with my pillowcase full of daggers again. <laughs> we're not great in the old melee front over here for old foot. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. That's a 13. <laughs> that will not hit me. All right. Sorry, he's doing his best. Swing and stand, a miss. Stand there and cry now. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else not looking very good? Me. All right, I'm going to... Uh... Where, the f- where is this? Send you my condolences. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. Here's this company card. I'm very sorry. <laughs> one like, one prayer. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going uh, to cast Healing Word targeting mm-hmm. you. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, that's eight hit points. Nice. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right. So it. Mm. That's the end of Flint. I'm going to go to Stalk. Mm-hmm. You got one left, three tendrils out of a shell. 
All right. Well, I can throw two daggers. So let's <laughs> start with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, a little thunder and a little lightning. All right. Well, the first one I'm going to throw is plus 14. I will not hit. All right. And the second one. 15. Also will not hit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so now that it has far less tendrils than it started with, you watch as stalks daggers. Once again, just one after another, just... Both just kind it's of not pass a D20 over there. Mm-hmm. on either side of one tendril, just narrowly missing it. It's gonna go on timeout. Uh, yeah, man, that uh, that is me. Mm-hmm. Cool. Can we remove the dead one? Number one. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. It's still there screaming. But... Yeah, it's still there. <laughs> it's been teleported to another room and it's screaming in there. Uh, so now we go to number two, mm-hmm. and that is Flint in front of it. There's Flint to the right. That's There's funny. Chessa. Okay. Uh, There's also me. I'm very and large, and I punch him in the, the face. In stalks on the ceiling. Yeah, I'm on the side. You got him, and you got Chasa. I punched this motherfucker in the face. He did. He did. Uh, yeah, it's going to attack Olaf since you tried to punch it in the face, or mm-hmm. did punch it in the face. Mm-hmm. There was no try. Only mm-hmm. <laughs> there was a try. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, now it's going to roll garbage. Yes, it is. Because it's attacking John. <laughs> and... This is my will. <laughs> Uh, so that's going to be a 9 and a 12. No. <laughs> My hubris. <laughs> oh, and then a 21. 21 catches. So at least one of them did. Mm-hmm. And take 5 bludgeoning damage. As uh, only one of his... The hit. old tickling. <laughs> as a bonus action, um, I'm going to use my sentinel attack, where if a creature within 5 feet of me like gets attacked that isn't me, mm-hmm. uh, as a bonus action, I can hit right. it. It's a reaction, not a bonus action, I think. A right? reaction, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, but you would have one, so sure. Mm-hmm. Smack him. Whack. Give him the old boop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Roll a d20 and a d4. Child, you should be the one running in first. Mm-hmm. I did, and then I got my ass handed to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, am I still beamed? Yes. Yes. <laughs> You're beamed for the entire combat. <laughs> 12. Nope. 12? Yeah, 12's mm-hmm. not going to hit. Whack. You swing your morning star, you hit its shell, and you hear, conk. <laughs> And, Derek. Uh, <laughs> Derek. Derek. <laughs> like, that's Derek. That's who he's screaming. Oh, you'll meet Derek. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, then we're going to go to Olaf. Derek. Yeah, I'm going to rock yeah, him, Derek's sock dead. this motherfucker right back. <laughs> Just squaring up on this. <laughs> oh, you want to go, huh? <laughs> I see how it is. A challenger approaches. <laughs> you never talk to me anymore. <laughs> I see how it is. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a 25. That uh, hits. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My hands are strong. <laughs> <laughs> Let me use my strong hand. <laughs> oh, my God. 19. <laughs> I love that my hands are now paladin smites. <laughs> Describe how you kill that. Yeah, whatever, like, <laughs> mouth dent that I left from the previous punch, I'm going right through the other side of the fucking slug. Just... <laughs> and once again, you watch as all of its tendrils just kind of... Bleh. <laughs> And it begins to rescind into its shell. Mm-hmm. And once mm-hmm. again... Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, no. Mm-hmm. It's good. Are they going to explode? They're no. bombs. We gotta go. We Bring gotta go. More, man. <laughs> I'm fucking ready. I got down. hands for days now, Flint. Mm-hmm. All right. You can hang in the back. So you guys are standing here. Uh, both the snails are in their shells screaming. That's the mm-hmm. mm-hmm. What would you like to do? My hand is going to reach out and grab this one mm-hmm. and try to crush it. Mm-hmm. What do you mean no? She said she wants to do it. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. Um... Please make a strength safe. Uh-huh. It failed. Not it's... her actual hand. The... Oh, yeah, no, I know it's not her okay. literal hand. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> I, with my actual giant hands, am going to pick up the one that I just punched in the mouth. And the the stone in here is on the ground natural, or was this the one that is still the road? That it's the one that Chessa threw. No, 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 I mean the actual floor. Oh. This was the one, oh. it had a varnish on, but it was natural stone, or was it like right. a laid stone? It is natural stone. Yeah, I'm gonna start crab cracking this fucking shit on the ground. Okay. Try to split this thing open. Find what delicious um, meal we're gonna make from this snail. 
Sure. Mm -hmm. You can resolve her first. Because she indicated that she wanted to do a thing. I just mean simultaneously while she is beginning that, I would also be doing a thing. So if you want to, in resolution, go to her and then to me. So I'm kind of conflicted on how to do this. Mm -hmm. On a failed save, it takes 2d6 bludgeoning damage. So if it would be an auto fail, since it's... Cause it's not dead. that. It's... I... I'll, I'll remind you of your detect magic. It's not up. Right, but mm -hmm. when you had oh, it yeah. up and you yeah. noticed like the absence of it as if the magic was bouncing off of its shell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is physical damage done by a magical item. Fair. It's not magic the, damage. I'm just gonna, the shell's valuable. Mm -hmm. It's screaming. Mm -hmm. You're right. <laughs> I'm trying to make the screaming stuff. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, mm -hmm. The big hands just. Then in that case, I can tell you it just. It just doesn't. Work. It just does. Mm -hmm. it, there's no way to end no. the scream. Well, there is a way to end the screaming, but. Mm -hmm. Kiss it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sarah. It always comes down. To like if it doesn't, if it flat out can't be destroyed, if it's like near indestructible, you're welcome to say that. I'm still going that's, to attempt. That's it. a good way of explaining it. Sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you watch as it grabs the shell, and the hand just squeezes and squeezes and squeezes, and just can't seem to break it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna crab try to crack this shit. Bam. Same thing. Dents the ground. Yeah, it doesn't dent the ground, <laughs> but it also doesn't break the shell. Okay. What does the shell look oh, like are we trying now? To stop that... the screaming. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah, I would just be trying to stab the fleshy part over <laughs> and over. Again. <laughs> what does the the shell itself look like? Like, is there any like? Yeah. Can we see the picture again? Can you just turn real quick? Can we reach in and scoop out the? And this is also thinking. rainbow colored again. Because I can spit some acid yes. in there if I need to. Yeah. Just to make sure that it is fitting the Orvigo theme. Okay. So yeah. I mean. Mm. It rescinds. It absorbed fire, it absorbed magic. Do we have any spoons? <laughs> Don, you got a pillowcase and knives, right? Yeah. We probably have a mess kit. Yeah, I mean, we got tiny wooden spoons we can all just start jamming with. I got a crowbar. Chest, I have a like chest. Like a person shaking. I have, I have a chest can I, lid. Can I let Ooh. the hand reach in can and try and scoop him out? Try and I got a crowbar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a crowbar <laughs> too. It's right. Try that bad boy out. Sure. You know what? I'll say your hand goes in and it gives a good scoop and it dumps the fleshy part yeah, of the snail. There's got to be some kind of membrane attaching it to the shell. <laughs> the snail now still just screaming. But no longer muffled by the shell, so it's even louder now. Oh, okay. Uh, sunlight? I'm gonna drag him outside? We could, dig, we could dig a hole and just stuff it in there. I mean, I'd rather is, let the people outside. Is there anything the else shit. in the room besides these two snails, or was it just an empty room? Uh, it wasn't an empty room. We are here. It was this full of snails. Mm. This thing is going to tell every other thing in this mine that we're here. That's why I'm trying to eat it outside. Mm -hmm. That's, I'm going to scoop mine out. I'm going to start dragging this snail meat outside. <laughs> I'll see your hand just pick it up. <laughs> hi ho. Yeah, if I can get both, I'll, I'll two-arm them. Okay, yeah, so you lift up these two fleshy snails yeah. and just begin running yeah. back through the hall. Leroy! <laughs> There's also a chance they dry out in the sun. Yeet! <laughs> you yeet them into the sun. <laughs> They're <laughs> alive again. <laughs> uh, They're outside, though! <laughs> Close the door! Does anybody have any salt? Like, I oh, don't I, I, don't I probably have some of my components. Salt yeah, the right? snail. Yeah, mm. we could have just salted the snail. If it was a salt mine, we'd have been fine. I'm right. surprised. It does not have sunlight sensitivity. That's fine. It's also already dead. Mm, yeah. I don't know what else we can do to this snail. Well, it's it's dying. It's yeah. in the process of dying. Okay. That's why it's screaming. Mm, okay. mm. Yeah. So we can't just the plethora of stalk stabs doesn't do it though, because he's been stabbing it, it for like a minute straight. <laughs> if yeah, that, if he'd be failing saving throw, like oh yeah, it, he'd be hitting it over and over and over again. <laughs> but it has zero hit points and can't go any lower. Mm. It's, it's gaseous and the gas is yeah, but wouldn't it fail from this if form. death save immediately? Yeah, theoretically. Mm. Yeah, and then it would die, and the dying process is it screams for five d six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How many minutes did you roll? Nineteen and twenty-two. <laughs> can I do a medicine check to see if I can find its vocal cord? Just snap that bad boy out of there. It's fine. They're outside. Yeah, the townspeople will deal with it. Right. I don't care. I'm it's coming back inside. Problem solved. What else is in this room? Uh, 
So aside from the snail shells, the right. room actually, I was wrong, does appear to be seemingly empty, aside from the uh, orb running through the walls. Okay. There's this mm. weird little, like, alcove bit. Mm-hmm. I want to just go, like, Snake. poke my head around and see if... Poke, poke your head in there. You see, in this spot in particular, that thin, like, clear Clunch. lacquer that you had seen over the stones seems to be pretty well built up here to where you can see almost, like, two to three inches of it. That's been... Oh. And it's, like, it, absolutely visible that, like, it is too small for the snail itself to get into that corner, though, right? That little alcove? It's, it's big enough for the snail to get into. This little alcove, that five foot square? I might have just drawn it wrong. Okay. And also, they're ten foot squares. Mm-hmm. I think I drew it. Mm-hmm. But gotcha. you, you're right. You yeah, might. Hay and his original. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Cool. Okay. How large in dimension is the scale now that the uh, or the shell the shell now that the snail is separated from it? It's the a, scale snail shell. It's <laughs> the wonderful tongue twister. I didn't want to say. It's probably like that. Like this cool. is the bottom. This is the top. About that big around. I'm gonna make pants. Just no, I'm gonna make a hat done. <laughs> Can we bring I'm going to go get my hair done. <laughs> so I'll, I'll tell you, you may be able to, I don't know if it's in D&D Beyond to add the item, mm-hmm. uh, but you can both add a flail snail shell. I know. Good. Uh, each one weighs about 250 pounds. I cannot carry that. I got I that. <laughs> I want it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I can carry it, I kind of want it. For yeah, this no. Thing. The two strength-based characters are absolutely fine, too. Yeah. It will, uh, it'll make me very, very sad. I'll throw literally everything I own away, though. <laughs> I just have this. I am a snail now. How much do you say it Use, like, a backpack and put all your stuff in the uh, shell and drag it. That's just right? over my, like, push capacity. Yeah, I'm mm. gonna drag this thing with me. I, I mm. think I have rope. I wanna, like, just... Yeah, man, you are just going as far out of your way to be like, you are the least stealthy person in the world right now. <laughs> Hello, I'm here for the thing! Fine, fine, fine. We could take it outside and tell them to bring Keep it to watching. Yeah, it's, it is at the entrance. Like, we could just leave these here and come back and grab them on our way. Yeah, out. true. I mean, they're pretty it's, big snail It's shows, not right? at the entrance. It's pretty far back in the dungeon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we could come back for them. Yeah, yeah you can come back. They're really them. big shells, right? Yeah, each one's 250 these could pounds. go as, like... Portable hotel rooms. You mm-hmm. can take long rests in them mm-hmm. if everybody else stands guard. They're not that big. <laughs> I thought you said they were large. Can we take one and cast like Tiny Hut on it <laughs> so that we crawl into the shell? Put a blanket into it. It's like a little sticky pod. Fun. <laughs> right? It's adorable and I love it. We're snail people now. <laughs> it's like in uh, Mario Sunshine when you go into this the shell and it mm-hmm. takes you somewhere else. <laughs> can I look in the shell? Is there anything in the shell? No, it would be the same reflective pattern that's on the outside on the inside. Okay, nothing lurking in there. Man, looking up how sh- large affects carrying weight. Yeah, I'd go around and collect my daggers. Um, yep. It's eight times, I think. I think no, that's eight, size. It's eight times size and weight. Uh, let me see. I'll go ahead and pick up a stalk's cloak. Give it to him. Okay. I'm also gonna. As she's poking around inside of that. Double uh, for every size above medium. (laughs) (laughs) How long does enlarge last, Sarah? A minute. Fuck. (laughs) For one minute, I'm going to be gorgeous. I'll say a minute's long enough to be able to move them at least out of the dungeon. I don't know where I would want to put them. I don't want to leave them like right at the doors. If anything, the there would. Are out there. We could. Can... I mean, oh, this room was empty. We could just keep it in a closer room to the front because I can drag one. Uh, dude, I'm while I am large, I can literally carry both. <laughs> I can Fair. full on just. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's fine. Uh, there wasn't anything in this room. You have extra cloaks. Can we? cover them. <laughs> Hide them. Yeah. I don't want anybody walking in here being like, oh wow, the absurdly valuable snail shells just left here by some dumb fuck. <laughs> yeah. It's all the screaming about, oh, snail so, shells. Yeah. Give you the two extra cloaks. Mm-hmm. Cover them up with dirt. Yeah. Um, while I'm nervous poking around looking at the one, I'm going to go ahead and put my hand on her shoulder and I'm going to hit you with some healing word. Oh, that was nice. Thank you. Because you were... Not doing too hot. That's not what I wanted. Why would you think I wanted to do that? (laughs) Oh my god. I'm going to, while I put them in there, from underneath the cloak, I'm going to open my ever-smoking bottle (laughs) and put it in 
side, like underneath one of the shelves in this corner of this room. The ever smoking bottle creates 120 feet of smoke. <laughs> Until I close the bottle. <laughs> This just looks like smoke now. <laughs> yeah, no one's going in there. Good. The <laughs> shells are safe. <laughs> well, I'll leave that behind for now. <laughs> Bam. Glad I bought that. I bet you are going to use those. Probably. should probably pay us like a billion gold. <laughs> Anti-magic? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's why I want to fashion it into armor. Yeah. Mm. You kidding? Giving, giving the fucking large man... <laughs> With absurd strength score and grappling anti-magic shit. While that... he's been dragging these shells down the hallway, I've just been writing down notes as mm -hmm. much as I can about what just transpired. Mm -hmm. Drawing like a sketch of them. Yeah. Snail. Screaming. <laughs> screaming snail. I'm gonna cast Lay on Hands too while I'm sitting here. Uh, and you took my whiskey, so I have to remove that. Uh, but yeah, after that, I would come back to everybody. Cool. Yeah, so you drop them in that room. That room's seemingly empty. I mean, you would see, mm -hmm. like, uh, the equipment used to separate gemstones out from mine, or from ore. I'll say that. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> That's accurate. You don't know that. That's accurate. You've made, I, I intended to try to sell it anyway if I can't fashion it into armor. Like, I doubt it can be malleable enough to be armor. Good lord. <laughs> All right, well, back to the party, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so you guys are standing in this room. You see there's a passageway that leads south, uh, or on the southern wall. And then the passageway you entered in through on the top right. Is anybody else still bloody? I'm totally fine. I'm My just over bloody, but I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, you. I'm not bloody anymore. Don, are you still bleeding? Yes. I mean, I don't <laughs> care if you okay. guys need yeah. the short rest because our lock expended his spell slot. Yeah. So, like, if you guys want to take the short rest and blow some hit dice, that's fine. Yeah, I'd rather do that. Yeah, yeah then continue yeah, to utilize spell slots. Mm -hmm. Like, we're at the beginning. We know that there's going to be more. I would 100% yep. support you guys getting a long rest, or a short rest in. Mm -hmm. Short rest can... doesn't affect spell slots, though, right? No, not for not. Paladin. No, not for Paladin. Shit. Yeah, not for Druid, either, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get your wild shapes back if you use any wild shapes, but mm -hmm. I figure it's still That's better, too. Yeah. Too. If you guys need to take a rest, I would definitely suggest you take a rest. Yeah, yeah. we just chill for an hour. I don't know. Mm -hmm. it, do you need a short rest, or do you want a recon? Because you're fucking invisible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? it's actually dark. I can I can scout ahead. Mm -hmm. I'll, uh... I don't know if anybody else wants to do anything during the hour, but... Yeah, if you're going to recon, I'll go with you. I'll go ahead and, uh... Go ahead and use my wild shape and all. Oh, it is worth mentioning just for balancing purposes. If it's dark, player characters can't see yeah. me. Either. Yeah, you literally can't so, see me. Yeah, I'm invisible to anybody that needs to use dark vision to see yeah. me. Yeah, I would let him go alone. Genuinely. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, because if he you is... try to... He is full out invisible, and as soon as he sees light, he's fucking coming home. Mm -hmm, right. Like, I don't want you to go out and him have to talk to alert you mm -hmm. that he's gonna leave. Yeah. I was just gonna use a wild shape to be a spider and ride on your cloak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. Yeah. That, yeah, that, no, well, I mean, on your shoulder because you're not wearing your cloak. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I put the cloak back on after you handed it. It's just funny that you won't be able to see him soon. Be like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh, oh, this is the weirdest experience <laughs> of my life. Something is moving me and I don't know what. Mm -hmm. Sensory deprivation, mm -hmm. like I'm floating through space. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pop an arcane recovery to get my second level spell slot back yep. too. Nice. I'll blow my one hit die. Yeah, well, so I'll say uh, Stalk and Olaf, not Olaf, Krom. Uh, mm -hmm. Spider Krom. Krom <laughs> turns into a spider and climbs onto Stalk's cloak and you all head out that passageway to the south. You go until you reach the wall and you make that right. Yep, uh, I'd creep along until I saw any light that would give me away or any creature because I have extended dark vision now, 90 feet. Yep. Nice. You begin to slowly make your way through the dungeon, just or through the mine, listening for whatever you can hear, you know, trying to sense light anywhere. You're able to go to that next room. Um, you enter into the chamber. You can see it's similar to the last room you were in. The walls aren't necessarily squares. They're just drawn like that because, you know... They're really Easy. rough. <laughs> yeah. They're really rough. You can see this is clearly another spot where they were removing ore from the walls. You can see the pickaxe mark, pick marks mm -hmm. all over the walls. Um, but aside from that, really nothing. You see your passageway leading toward me. Mm -hmm. 
Would you all like to walk down that way? Just him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just me. Well, I'll just take him a... with, you know, yeah. Crom Spider. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, um, take, take it slow with my eyes mm. peeled for, for danger. <laughs> I'm basically just ratatouing him down the hallway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pulling your ears and you stop. Catatouing. Catatouing. Yeah. Catatouing. Uh, so next room, you would see, uh, as you begin to sneak in, you see the uh, you see spider webs reaching from the floor up to the wall and up the wall to the ceiling. You can see the cobwebs kind of hanging, draped across the ceiling. But that seems to be it in this room. It's just spider webs. Uh, you have a room directly in front of you, as well as a room that opens to the right. Uh, as looking around, do I... I want to like look at the ceilings and near the webs and see if I see anything before I go any further. Yeah, uh, I'll say you don't see any anything in the webs. Um, okay. I, you might see like a couple cocoon things. I don't know the correct phrase for it. Sure. Mm-hmm. But like where they wrap something in webs. Mm-hmm. You'd see mm-hmm. a couple of those spread out, but other than that, yeah, uh, no, I'll say in that room directly ahead of you, because you'd be able to see into that room, you know, as you walked up. Uh, you can see that strewn across the floor are like bits of broken swords and sh- um, the shaft. Yeah, wooden handles. Thank you. That word just was not there for me. <laughs> Especially when DJ I forgot it. a shaft. I needed it most, and my shaft left me. <laughs> um, uh, you'd see broken swords, shafts, uh, dilapidated armor, like all kinds of just debris mm-hmm. scattered amongst that room. Well, Debris. Mm-hmm. Debris. <laughs> I hate people who say Debris. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, after drinking in the, the that room there and seeing that, I'd probably turn back. I don't want to mess with spider webs on my own. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then as I'll say as you turn to leave, you face the room all the way down here, and you've got dark vision out to 90. 90. You'd be able to see mostly into that room. Mm-hmm. You see that room is also covered in spider webs, uh, some reaching from the floor clear up to the ceiling. Okay. Um, Others, you know, especially heavy in corners, walls, stuff like that. And you, with your cat hearing, would be able to hear, like, faint chittering in, like, mm-hmm. coming from that room all the way on that side. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, would I have any idea if giant spiders are monstrosities? Great question. And uh, I would leave after that. Cool. They're monsters in my eyes, DJ. <laughs> I they sure that. sound like monstrosities. I hate, them. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I hate these snails. <laughs> it is these indeed snails. a monstrosity. Mm-hmm. So I would have advantage on history checks to see what I knew about it. Uh, mm-hmm. Would I? Uh, would I know anything? Anything spicy about these spiders? Uh, go ahead and yeah, make, spice. make your history check. Sure. Mm-hmm. It's like the worst Spice Girl. Spider Spice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I believe that is an eighteen. Yep. Great. Uh, you. <laughs> Anything behaviorally? <laughs> Specifically, in, in my mind, the question I'm asking myself is, can I burn these webs away? I don't know if that helps you with a direction on mm. what I might know. I'll say, yeah. You, you're... I got that teacup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything that says you wouldn't be able to burn it away. So sure, you're mm-hmm. able to burn it away. Um, any attempt to identify, like, what made it? Are you asking me if I want to make an attempt, or... If you, like, if that was your attempt, or was it just... Oh, uh, yeah, no, I mean, yes. It? Like, can I burn the webs? Do I know what made the webs? Sure, mm-hmm. sure. So, yeah, I'll give it to you on, uh... 18. <laughs> on an 18. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You recognize these webs as being, uh, different from most other spider webs, and that they're black. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Mm-hmm. And you would identify black spider webs to Choldrith. Mm-hmm. 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 Let's see. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that is. Mm-hmm. I'm running in. Yep, no, I don't know what it is either, but, mm-hmm. but Stop does. Oh, mm-hmm. sorry, Coldrith. Yeah. Coldrith. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, the yeah. CH gets you. <laughs> yeah. Would, yep. uh, would Stalk assume that that's a bad thing? Because <laughs> Mike doesn't know what that word means. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, I love him. Oh, ah! those guys. Okay. Oh, I love them. I hate mm-hmm. that so much. Mm-hmm. CMS not friendly, not friendly. Oh, yeah. Let's do this, boys! <laughs> oh, 
Lee Roth. <laughs> I still got another giant spider. You can enlarge me. I'll fight that fighter, fucking spider, one on one. Are they big? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. They're, oh, they're medium. Oh, hate, hate. Oh, they're, human. They? they're human sized. Yeah. Oh, fighter okay. spider. I mean, for a spider, it's pretty big. Mm-hmm. But I think if that's the thing I'm thinking, no, I don't think that's the one I'm thinking. Of. Are you thinking Drider with the upper half being humanoid? Nope. They're just like spider people. They have the garrote. I don't remember what they're called. We use them in a different campaign. It just didn't look anything like that. I'm surprised there's that many spider people. Yeah, there are a yeah, lot. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Light so many spiders uh, on fire. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'd come back mm-hmm. uh, and uh, relay spiders. that. Spiders. Nice. Spicy spider webs. <laughs> they're going to be very spicy when I burn them. Together. We can burn them away. Yeah, we, uh, it's fire. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's good. Relay Destroy. That. Uh, other yeah. than, and I'd relay the, you know, mm-hmm. that room has a bunch of uh, destroyed equipment in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm yeah, ready we're good on our uh, ye old short rest. I'm well relaxed. Yep, you're you're good on your short rest. You complete it. You're good. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We making our way... Oh, yeah, how how much time would have gone by for that it's expedition an and their short rest? Would have been an hour? Mm-hmm. Yeah, or, I don't know if the expedition hours. of them stealthing, the short rest is an hour. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Are I'll you asking you, just the stealth just, walk? Just for how long I would stay in wild shape because I have two hours. Mm-hmm. Like uh, an animal. Definitely not that. Um, <laughs> yeah, it definitely wouldn't take two hours. Yeah, that's not that big of a walk. It's like 15 minutes. Maybe, yeah, though. like mm-hmm. that's pretty short. So if you want to stay in your wild shape, I think you're good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you can stay in your wild shape. I'll just sit on his shoulder still. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you guys make your can way. Can you choose to be visible to us? No, if I get down while I'm invisible, you will not see me. Uh-oh. Yeah. So we if just hear dark. you speaking and yes. don't see you. Yeah. If there is no light, I stay Papa, can invis- you hear <laughs> invisible. Me? That's dope. I love it. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna assume you're down. I'm gonna go. Oh uh, yeah. I would tell you guys I'm back. <laughs> Good. And and relay all that. Uh, yeah. So you you make yeah, your way. I would make my way to that opening. You're going straight for where the spiders were. I mean, this is the beginning of where the webs were, correct? Correct. Yeah, I would go to, like, this general area of the opening. So you would get to there, and you as well would see into the room ahead of you, the broken swords and Mm -hmm. all that good stuff. Yeah, because I have 120 feet of dark vision. Yeah, you'd be able to see clear into that room then. Cool. Um, To your left, uh, they do have a room there. Yeah, it's where the spider webs begin. That's all. Cool. Where would you like to go? Is room straight ahead or all the way to the right? I don't know. Anybody coming with? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess there. I'll take a look. As we yeah. get close, I would tell you. Here, here it is. <laughs> By the way, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, God. Are you going to? Are you on the ceiling? Uh, it's a wall. Yeah. Wall, yeah. We'll and wall. just keep me paired with Mike for the foreseeable <laughs> time. <laughs> I'm very sneaky. Uh, There's no good way to do this. That makes me yeah, extra right. stealthy, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess as we approach, I'd ask uh, if we You're if we want to burn yeah. the webs. I think it's good to piss them off. Yeah, I'll, I'll crawl along the wall until I see some webs, and uh, I'll wait to see if any is any. Well, I guess I would ask before I went in. Is anyone else going to help burn webs? Oh, oh I can do it. I can. I can help. Yeah, I would give you a help. tap on the head. Sure, I'll wait for other people to be <laughs> ready since no one can see me. I can't exactly be the signal <laughs> person. Where are yeah, I? just tell me where to go. Just just yeah, there's just webs everywhere, so mm-hmm. I, I would just tell you guys I'm gonna I'll wait for someone's signal and have my teacup ready on the wall. So it's one, two, three. Are you you gonna use the spell oh, slot? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, I have I have it as a cantrip. Oh, cool. like I can just produce flame. Cool. I have first the digitation. Oh, um, so. yeah, racial. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna um, hold off until I'm actually out of my wild shape. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna be right back while y'all do that. I yeah. can. So I can continue torching stuff afterwards, just not this moment. Mm-hmm. So I do plan on burning it, just mm-hmm. not now. Mm-hmm. But I'm a spider and can't share it so much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you have, Sarah? Speak in Morse code. I just have press the digitation, so I can light something and then... Yeah, just use a torch. Just use a torch. Mm-hmm. I Same. I don't know if I have a torch. I, I, could have a I mean, I have somewhere. ten. I have a torch? Mm-hmm. Yes. Just throw them all around. <gasps> ye, ye, you get a torch! Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I get web sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you did, yes. Spidey senses? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can tell where the fuck this thing's at before he even mm-hmm. knows. Mm-hmm. But it'll know where I'm at, too. Mm-hmm. You better do that before we uh, yeah. start burning. Yeah. 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 Oh, crumb! <laughs> we burned our friend. So what are we doing? So I'm going to stick a leg off of our good my friend. cat buddy here, and I'm going to put a leg out on that uh, on that there web. As you do. And I'm going to use my web sense. Cool. 
What's what, what are my spidey senses telling me? What uh, what creatures are in contact with the web? Do you just you want to get in here, or do you want me to just put them somewhere? Just throw them <laughs> in that room. <laughs> just <laughs> throw them. Yep. Oh. Those are spiders, by the way. Oh. I hate that. Yep. TJ, we have there a bag go. full of spiders at home. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Uh, yeah. What are so, you talking about a Hydra? <laughs> so you would fighting a Hydra. Shit. <laughs> you would sense that. Mm -hmm. Also. I feel like I have spiders out there. Give me one Negative. second. Negative. You sure? Yeah, we got beds. We definitely have spiders. We definitely have spiders. I don't know. Oh, oh, we oh, might have taken them somewhere, but we definitely have them. Yeah. The classic D&D &D mini problem. Mm. I do have them. I don't know where they are. You found five of them? I, I don't know if he said bam or damn. Bam. It's like Bam. Schrodinger's mini. Mm. Exists and doesn't exist all at the same time. Yeah, so you, uh... Because we have, like, the spooky So spiders. I feel... Th how many? Mm -hmm. Three. I can feel three? Cool. Do you, you get the location of them and everything, right? While in contact with the web, the spider knows the exact location of any other creature in contact with the same web. Yep. So you reach your foot out, and you touch the web, <laughs> and you can see them... And now they can see you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. And you begin to quickly hear. And I'm just gonna tap on a uh, stock's head. And if you can go ahead and start moving them over toward the party. I would just leave them because we don't know. Yeah, Once I was just saying none of us know where they are. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fair. Once he's not touching it anymore, he doesn't know where they are either. Fair. Well. Yeah. So you do that and you we tap. We have yeah. one actual spot. Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> I don't. The other big ones. Yeah. I don't know where they are. Mm -hmm. We had like face spiders and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? So I'll give Stock the uh, the cue that there's three, and then tug his hair to <laughs> right like a, like his head kind of turn oh, to the oh, direction oh, that they're coming right from. <laughs> this one's a bit bigger, so this at least gives us two genuine spiders. So yeah, you guys. We don't have spiders. Ah! <laughs> it's fine. It's a little on the big side, isn't it? It's or... fine. You said they're medium? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I'd rather have the cool looking spider mini than the fucking rat swarm. Is that what that is? Swarms are yeah, cool. I can't even tell what that is. Yeah. Swarms are cool. It's uh -huh. like a pile of rocks. Pile of rats. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pile of rats. So, what would y'all like to do? Burn so, the things. You're just yep. gonna keep burning wanna, these webs? Do you wanna give the signal? I was gonna I say, at, well, he, when he starts tapping, <laughs> I'll probably, I would take that as urgent and I would yeah. fire off my uh, my teacup. Mm -hmm. So you just, <laughs> I guess you'd be able to see me once I start firing it too. Cause True, you just light. Yeah. burst yeah, so uh, I would be on the wall uh, <laughs> hitting that back corner. I'll light my torch and yep. so start, yeah, same. start just setting <laughs> webs on fire. Setting webs on fire. Yep. Cool. So we're gonna roll initiative. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then we're going to take, y'all want to take a brief break well, after no. the roll initiative? Sure. That's fine. That's better than last Yeah, time. I would just say since I'm not contributing to the burning, I would be attempting to stand. you burning. If I know that that's just like dilapidated area, mm -hmm. I would have just walked to that general area to try to put myself just into the opening. Flames. Would you have like walked into this room to look around at all? Not yet, no. Okay. Like, I... Knowing where everyone else is standing for burning, that looks like the smaller alcove to me. It looks like it's dilapidated shit. I would associate that with less danger. Fair. And the webs are all in this room, right? Like, there's a few on the They're wall, spreading but... toward this room over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. I'll, I'd probably... Yeah, you like guys can position way. yourselves yeah. in random spots around that room. Can you get me, room. like, over there? Over here, yeah. like yeah, forward a little bit. And yeah. like I cued stock in on like which direction. You've actually you rather than taking a full that's break, fine. I'll just go vape real quick. Yeah, because mm -hmm. yeah, really we can just position ourselves and you're fine. Yep. And then roll initiative. Mm -hmm. going. Yep. Nine. Mike, where do you want to? Uh, I was probably aimed at that back corner before I got the so tab. this way. No, closer what? to you. Yeah, like the behind area that way. Like here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. where. Mm hmm. Sorry, you said you were using a torch? Yeah. Where are you going? Like, I mean, where in the room are you going to be standing? I'm in, like, the center. Like, there's the webs, like, hanging. Like, the whole room is filled with webs. Yeah, yeah. I just don't know if it's from the ceiling. Like, I don't know how the high the ceilings are, how low webs are hanging down from the ceiling. Like,. Is this like Shelob's lair that we're crawling through? Because like, if that's the I depiction that's... you're getting, 
That feels different from the depiction that I'm getting. That's what I was thinking, but I, I was thinking when he was saying like draped along the heights and along the walls. Mm -hmm. That feels I like I thought that this was like down open... through here. That okay, yeah, that, that's why I'm saying like I just want to be certain yeah. of what we're walking into because if there's webs literally falling onto our bodies. Lighting everything on fire feels drastically worse right now. Yeah, yeah he said. Like, I think he said in here it was more more she lob layer like so fucking back everything. corner. It was on the walls, so that's why I'm saying I yeah. think I would do that back corner, yes. get yeah. everything out from behind yep. us. Totally, because that's that, probably where I'll be staying. Yep. That that is why I want to have an understanding of. Oh my god, are we about to fucking light ourselves on fire? Right, I was I'm just down gonna, for I was it. Just gonna say, I don't know I'm clearly the one who's down for it. I don't know if you're down for being lit on fire, Sarah. I'm always up for being right? lit on fire. Can you like, adjust the camera going? Yeah! Yes! We need to get more. But web and fire is pretty fun. Yeah, right? Like, that, just that shit's gonna outward. pull all the yeah. fucking. You might have to tilt it up a little bit, but yeah. I'm just gonna turn the music back on. Yep, what that's happened? fine. It just. The Good old. Stopped. Oh, sure. That's fine, Glenn. Cool. Edder Cap. I think that's the monster I was oh, thinking sure. of. Oh, sure. Okay. You know, there are a lot of uh, spider humanoids. Just because spiders are yeah, such a common disgusting. fear for people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that that's why. Yeah, There's, you know, also just the whole lolf shenanigans. Also so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spiders do so, so much good. Mm -hmm. They do. I'm blind to it. Mm -hmm. They're just awful. <laughs> They're just. They're like mm -hmm. bees. They do so many good things. I'm still scared to death of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love bees. Appreciate what you do. Just don't come near me. Mm -hmm. I at least like looking <laughs> at bees. Leave me alone. Spiders don't want to look at them. Mm -hmm. All right. But I'll put them under a cup and take them outside if they're we'll in the way. house. Okay. What you got? Uh, I have a uh, eleven. Good. Chessa. Fifteen. I'm sorry. Uh, sixteen. Ooh, even better. Why is my initiative so high? Olaf. Natural 20. <laughs> so 20 plus... No three. mod. Okay. Uh, Crow? Also an 11. Okay. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Yeah, go ahead. I'm a spider. Cool. <laughs> spider. 13. All right. And stock. 18. All right. So, Olaf, you're going to lead us off. So do I see anything in terms of movement for these things as this is occurring? Not yet. Cool. Uh, yeah, dark vision. So... Yeah, I mean, I have 120 feet. I don't know, like, if it is so dark and they are so blended in. Like, if they... What's your passive perception? Oh, a fucking nine, dude. If they're stealth me, I'm not seeing shit. They have a... Yeah, they, they'd be pretty stealthy. Cool. Yeah, no, absolutely. I would stand here aware that my friends are lighting shit up behind me and... Uh... Do I believe that spiders can be charmed and fall in love with me? <laughs> I believe I can try anything once, you know? You got so it. Hello. Those spiders? <laughs> uh, it's better to have loved than lost, John. Yeah, spider right? to have loved than lost. Yeah, and I, I don't have any indication of... Did you say how many there were or just urgency? Yeah. You just said urgency. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, he started yeah. tapping. I don't yep. even know that I would have been thinking that that was... Three. Yep. Just, just an indication of urgency. Something's yeah. happening. I would just be the standing fire. there and I would hold my action for the first thing that attempts to cross beyond me that comes into my sight that's obviously not. First first fucking spider I see. Jam. Jam. <laughs> Jabbing it. Yeah. <laughs> straight straight bopping it. Cool. Uh Twist and it. pull it. <laughs> I don't really want to pop my other giants, my we're not in a situation like we were with the snails where we're fucking stunned. So uh, yeah, that's good for me. Okay. <clears throat> then we go to stalk. All right. Um. Yeah. After I uh, fire off that teacup, I guess I would be uh, on the lookout too. Um. I'm assuming it's going to take a second for the web to burn away, so I probably would climb down since I just lit everything around me on fire. Fair. Uh, and uh, I would ready an action to throw a dagger at the first. Uh, or spider, I see. Mm. Cool. Okay. We got spider number one. Spider number one is going to be the big one. Cool. Where's it going? He's just going to 30 feet straight toward Olaf. Big spider. Should it's be able to reach squares. him. Yeah. All right. And. Da -da -da -da. That would only be three squares, right? 
Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's medium. It's just a three spider. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And... Hello. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. We've been trying to reach you about your cause extended warranty. You <laughs> thought you were going to extend my warranty. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> We don't get visitors, <laughs> right? Friends! And uh, as the spider begins running in, uh, Olaf, make a wisdom save. Cool. I'm great at them. <laughs> They're my favorite saves. Mm. 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 Natural 20. <laughs> Run them back. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. All right, you fucking just stare at it. Oh, I'm ready as fuck. And it just, it stares at you, and you stare at it, and then that's just kind of it. It's going to move within range of you. Oh, so. yeah, I'm going to punch it in the fucking face, then. Go ahead and punch it. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> mm. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it is a 25, though. That'll hit. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean... Is that an infinity sign? What happened to the eight? Oh no, it's a four that's upside down. Whew! <laughs> I couldn't see the corner because of the light. I thought my eight lost the top half of it, <laughs> and I had like a broken hourglass. Uh, no, it's eight damage though. Kay. Eight beautiful bludgeoning damage. It's like there's fucking Nordic runes on my dice now. What does it mean? <laughs> When I, when I uh, see him punch it, I'll use my uh, reaction to throw a dagger if mm-hmm. I can see from where I am. Yep, go ahead and hit him. Oh, that's a nat 20. Ooh. Oh, and I'm within <laughs> five feet of it, yep. Mike? sure are. Oh! Oh, good night, spider! <laughs> good night, spider prince. Yeah, he fucking... Phew! <laughs> right. How does this interact with Dread Ambusher? Do I give my bonus? That's gonna be so much damage. Oh, yeah, he's... Uh, especially with Gloomstalker, like if he gets all the damage triggers, it's like forty something. No, it's so, so it says if you take the attack, attack action, action, so that it wouldn't count, right? Uh, I mean, reaction. no, you did take the attack action because you readied your action. No, I think it's different. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, I it's, think a, it's readied, a clarification rule. Yeah. yeah, I think I readied my action Fair. to take an attack instead of taking the attack action. Mm. But that's okay. The action is readying. Yeah, mm-hmm. the reaction. That's, yeah, I think yeah. it's yeah. Fair. It's, that's Fair. that's fine. Uh, so that'll be four, five, six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-two. Twenty-two piercing. Just gonna. <laughs> it gets to do like Hunter's Mark or anything. I know, right? You know, the first term Gloom Soccer damage when I get to do everything mm-hmm. is wild. So you fucking just fling your dagger at it and, uh. <clears throat> exactly, yep. Punch. No. Olaf punches it in the face, and as it's reeling, it's gross six eyes. It also has six eyes, but not like this. Clustered. They're like this. Uh, one, two, three, oh, one, two, three. Yeah, I don't no. like that. So Olaf punches right in the center of those eyes, <laughs> and Stalk's dagger comes in, not not short behind it, and slices up the top of the head. Mm. And you can see blood just beginning to spill down this weird, sickly, like green blood. Mm. Mm. Now, hypothetically, mm. uh-huh. if a spider is on an it's item... It's like d d it's all hypothetical. And when you throw that item, would that spider stay on the item until it gets to its desired... Are you on the dagger? <laughs> what I'm hoping for here is I mean, that I was able to get on the dagger, I mean, ride the dagger into battle, and bite this man on his forehead. <laughs> I've seen Ant-Man, so... <laughs> I will say this. For that to happen, <laughs> you would have had to have a turn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to ready a To ready it, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I'm just saying, would that be a thing that I could possibly do? Could so I ride a dagger onto a person? You, that's you, being can, at? you can definitely try. Mm-hmm. I'll give you that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would definitely be like an acrobatic check. Or I, yeah, I can't say like yes that. or no. There will be a save, to, a save involved. Mm-hmm. But you can try. Mm. Cool. That thing is very bloody. It's hurt. It's not having a great time. Mm-hmm. Then we go to Chessa. Oh, it's my turn. Mm-hmm. I was not ready. 
Mm. 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 You're learning something, teacher. <laughs> it's just interesting. It it's a spellcaster, which we've established because it casted a spell on you. Mm-hmm. But it uses cleric spells. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're yeah. they're followers of Lolth. Yeah. I was gonna say, are they Lolth? Yeah, they're yeah. they're genuinely like priests. It's just Lulth. interesting. Mm-hmm. These aren't gonna yeah, be the, followers. The, of the Lulth, reason but. why like they have casting and driders don't is driders are like abominations where they're the failed experiments. Mm. Yeah. Like, Driders are the male drow that Lolth is like, oh, you suck. <laughs> like, you failed. Right. I'm going to turn you into more of an abomination, whereas that's more like an ascended form of, like, reverence. Mm. Okay, that makes sense. Mm. Yeah, it's super cool lore. I'm going to cast Frostbite at this spider. Okay. Please make a con save. Sure. It's a 12. I believe that failed. Yep. Nice. So, finally, actually, I can take damage with this spell. Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you hate to say it. <laughs> you really hate to say it. So, you take one cold damage. No. <laughs> oh, you have sickest. disadvantage on the next weapon attack roll, which doesn't sound relevant. Uh, but no, it's actually it. pretty good. So it pulls just, out a great axe. <laughs> Is there chilling here? <laughs> yeah, so you it's reach your hand draft. out. Right, and is it touch or is it just No, within... it's it's a sixty foot range. Cool. So you watch as like I'm not this the spider. <laughs> ghostly, frostly essence just kinda like seeps from the head wound. And just into the air as it like loses some of its heat to the ambient air around it. Ugh. Frost bit. Mm-hmm. Here we go to Minerva. Mm, I am going to walk off to the side a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get too close to it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to produce flame at it. Okay. I don't want to touch the thing. That's a 21. That'll hit. (laughs) One. Beep. <laughs> nice boop. We got fire and ice over here, man. Just really <laughs> coming in strong. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, God, God. someone can close the window. It's hot in here. The spider now has. Hold on, I think I'm starting to get sick, guys. <laughs> All these temperature changes are killing my. I really looked at, this, looked at this thing and said, hmm, "It's already pretty flooded. Let me not like use." Don't hurt it too bad. Let me not use a whole spell slot on it. <sighs> Yeah, so you you give it a little a little burn, uh, <laughs> like it touched the stove too fast. Yeah, <laughs> just sending mixed signals. Though. Spicy. It drank its coffee too quick. Uh, then we go to Flint. Alrighty, uh, I'm going to first use my uh, bonus action to hex the spider. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I'm gonna shift a little bit so I can get a nice angle on it. Uh, and I'm gonna pull back my. Arcane bow and mm. shoot a little, uh, little Eldritch Blast at it. I like it. Eldritch Blast. God, I can't wait for you to not want to hit me in the ass again. Nope, 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 <laughs> nope. We're good. Uh, it's 15. Uh, 15 should hit. Yep. Cool. Sure does. Cool. Uh, that sounded so confident. Sure uh, 15 does. should hit. Mm. We need to know. Does it hit or not? <laughs> Nonsense. May or may not hit. Uh, that is. 11 points of damage. Okay. So, you see Flint just... Pachoo! <laughs> it's not quite the sound that would make you think that, but much more aggressive and, uh, you know, Lovecraftian. Just mm. makes milly noises. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my favorite thing is you do it back at her and she'll answer you sometimes. It's great. <laughs> Anyway, he watches uh, that Olaf, not Olaf, Flint's Eldritch Blast just collides into the thing and just blah! Uh, Spock the Wizard, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Mm. Then we go to Crump. Tiny spider. Fighting big spiders. <laughs> now, all of the webs, are like all of them burned away or just a substantial amount of them? Uh, a a portion of them. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and stick my leg back out on the wall. Okay. Touch. Sure. You sense the two other spiders pretty much right behind that one. Okay. 
and that one's still where it is. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, climb across the wall 40 feet around towards Don. Okay. Is that your movement speed is 40 feet? Uh -huh. Nice. It's a quick spider. Yeah, mm -hmm. quick spider. Up on a wall, too. Concern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um... I'm just gonna hang out. Cool. Okay. Rub my legs together. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> uh, so now we're gonna go with the next two spiders. Mm -hmm. Link all eight of my eyes. Uh, the first one, which is gonna be the other actual spider. Mm -hmm. He's gonna come around the wall mm -hmm. on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. And still Olaf just there? Mm -hmm. Or is the Minerva? Minerva's right there too. Mm -hmm. Eh, Olaf's in the center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's uh, make a wisdom safe. Sure. Back to back. Mm. Six. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you are charmed. Cool. Uh, so you're paralyzed for the next minute. Uh oh. Cool. It's a whole person. He just. <gasps> And Olaf just Freeze. bring him out like a refrigerator again. Just come mm -hmm. on, Freeze. <laughs> you're frozen. Uh, I'm frozen. <laughs> yep. Cool. That's its turn. Great. Because that's all it can do. Now we go to number three, mm -hmm. and he's gonna run in. Mm -hmm. That rat swarm. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna stab Olaf. Mm -hmm. uh, now I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure paralyzed is advantage and auto crits. Right. Okay, so 16 on the die. Uh, it'll be 21. Mm -hmm. So that'll hit. It's a crit. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, because incapacitated would give... I feel like paralyzed should absolutely I'm give checking. advantage. Uh, a paralyzed creature is incapacitated. Yeah, incapacitated, absolutely, you always have advantage when you're hitting it. So, yeah, definitely I would perceive paralyzed as having advantage. Incapacitated, you can't take actions or reactions. Yeah, it's the other way around. Paralyzed gives all that stuff. Incapacitated. Yeah, no, 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 no I know. I just, it, when typically when you're hitting at an incapacitated thing, you do still gain advantage. Mm, okay. Because it's incapacitated. At least that's how I perceive it. Like, I literally can't. Yep. Do anything. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. So, mm. it's going to hit. Uh, and it's gonna crit. Mm -hmm. <sighs> ah, it's, I was looking at the wrong one. So, and he's stabbing with a dagger. Mm -hmm. Four, seven, ten piercing damage mm -hmm. from the dagger. And then 26 poison damage. Cool. As it slides its spidery poison dagger into you. Cool. And that's their turns. So we go to Olaf. Yeah, I'm paralyzed. <laughs> I think you get to repeat the saving throw. Mm -hmm. At the end of my turn. For a whole person, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, 14. A 14 will succeed. Cool. So you see Olaf, after getting stabbed just a second later, is and shake it off and, and That's me. There we go. Uh, stalk. Uh, all right. I'm going to use my bonus action to throw Hunter's Mark on uh, the one that's already bloody. Okay. And I'm uh, going to throw some daggers. I like it. Uh, the first one is going to be a dirty 20 to hit. That'll hit, for sure. And we'll uh, see what that damage looks like first, I guess. It'll be 14 piercing damage. Nice. Okay. And the first dagger stabs in. You see blood just heavily spilling from it now. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I think we're, we're going to do it again. I fucking do it again. Mm -hmm. I fucking do it again. Uh, that is going to be a 15 to hit. That will hit. Once again, very confident. Mm -hmm. And that'll be for 10 piercing damage. 
All right, go ahead and describe how you kill that one. Oh, yeah, no, that second dagger I throw is going to get uh, buried right in that six-eyed face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just right between the eyes. Yep, lined up. <laughs> All six of them. Uh, <laughs> then we go to Chessa. If you, if, unless you have another attack. Nope. No, no. Which Just one was that? Which one? Though? Number the one. Big the big metal guy. Flitted. <laughs> Let me go to Chessa. Ah, uh, should have done that before I got here. I am going. Literally been sitting here staring at this, trying to decide what to do, and I still haven't. <laughs> I'm gonna reach forward and. Grab at this spider creature. Okay. And cast shocking grasp. Okay. On the spoozler. Awesome. And we'll say it's on number two. Uh, I think that's number three. The rats is number three right here. Yes, the rats are number three. You're right. Mm. Is a nine hit? A nine does not. No. You reach out and try it, and it spidery, spoodery, just kind of mm-hmm. like moves out of the way. Then we go to Minerva. Um, yeah, so the spider boy's in front of me. It's freaking me the fuck out. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try and smash it with my knees. Yeah. Morning Morningstar. I thought you were getting ready to roll that D8. <laughs> You're not going to hit anything with that. Uh, does a 17 hit? It does. Okay. Mmm. Hey, uh, it's going to be 12 points of damage. Nice. Okay. And that's on number two? Yep. Yes. Cool. And 12 points, right? Mm-hmm. Just to clarify, a, was it, a morning star is like one-handed weapon, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I have like a fighting style that gives me like additional bonuses, but it's like for if you're only holding the one mm-hmm. weapon. So well, because like, so that way you can mm-hmm. use the shield. Yeah. Fair. Okay. Unless you don't have a shield, and I then have go ahead and drop that AC down no, no, two no, no, points no, no. for me. No. <laughs> and let's make the rest of this dungeon real fun. Uh, all right, so then uh, that's Minerva, so we go to Flint. Yep, I'm going to scooch over this way a little bit. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to shift my hex from the dead spider to the other actual spider that we got right there. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to slip a little arcane eldritch blast right through the middle there and... Mm. Smack him in his spider eyes. I like it. Smack. Uh, that is going to be a 13. That will not hit. Nope. Okay. So you watch the Eldritch Blast fly through and it Sorry, collides. 14. 14? Yes. What was... The 13 was the first one, right? Yes. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. So collides into the wall and you see like little bits of rubble just fall down. You can see the, the brand new vein of the shiny type of metal. You can see just kind of running from where Flint chipped away at the stone there. And we go to Crom. I'm going up and across behind them. Mm-hmm. Which? Yep. Yeah. They're just like between the two of them. Um, yeah, I'm going to descend from the ceiling on my spider web, like mm-hmm. Spider-Man, and conclude my wild shape. These guys are <laughs> scorching rain. Okay. You get do, you have, do you have guns? <laughs> Scorching rays three? Three beams, yes. Mm-hmm. So two at one, one at the other. Would I be considered an unseen attacker? No. They would see me behind them? Well, they had web sense also. Oh, true. Yeah. They would have seen you climbing behind them. Mm-hmm. They knew exactly what you mm-hmm. did. Yeah. Well, they're not ready for this. Mm-hmm. How the are you guns! <laughs> How are you directing them? I'm going to do uh, two on three. And, and one on two. And one on two. Mm. That sounds really That was very good. Yeah, cool. Two on the spider, or two on the pile of rats, one on the spider. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. So the swarm is going to be catching these hands. Um, the one's a 19 plus six. That's That'll hit. The other is an eight. That will not hit. And then... So you got one on the rats. That is a 19 plus 6. And I'll also hit. And then one on the spooter. Uh-huh. That's a good time. So Pile of Rats is going to catch 7 fire okay. damage. Okay. And 
then number two is going to catch nine fire damage. Cool. So you see, stalk, not stalk, damn it. I'm gonna, I'm like a grandmother, man. I go through everyone's names before I get to the right one. Mm-hmm. You watch Krom just kind of like spoter his way over and drop down on a web and... <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say you didn't fall from 10 feet. Mm-mm. No, I descended uh, on it before I concluded my right, shape. Right, right. Uh, then we go to spider number two. So mm-hmm. the actual spider. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's gonna fire a web. He's gonna put a web. At me? At, uh, yeah, you are right in front of him. Mm-hmm. Yep. Blah. <laughs> Ew. So. Eight. Gross. That is, uh, yep, a 20 to hit. Hits. Okay, you are restrained. Great. <laughs> so your speed becomes zero. Uh, your attack rolls have disadvantage. You have disadvantage on deck saves. Uh, yep, and that's it. Cool. So then that's going to be his turn. We go back to... Spider, Spider three. 3. Spider 3, who is going to... Climb up and over. Try to stab into the shell. Uh, can I stab him with a dagger? Because he's, he's right not leaving of... your space. No? Yeah, he's gone like that. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, he's going right into the center of us, but he does not leave you or I. How is he... Is he descending... He's a spoker. Yeah, he's... How tall are the ceilings? Um... Probably 15 feet. And he's definitely leaving my space. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh. he would leave oh, as yeah. he ascends. That's if he's fair. going to the full height outside. Yeah, Unless ahead. there are other options for him to be lower, but that's entirely up to you. Are you still paralyzed? Hey, no, I'm going to punch him also. Okay. If, he's still, <laughs> if he is within that amount, yeah. 15 feet, I'm going to punch him. 10 feet, I can't punch him. Is it 15 feet ceilings? Yeah. Cool, I'm going to punch him. Go ahead and punch him. Yeah. 24. Mm-hmm. Six points piercing. Cool. Eight points of bludgeoning. Cool. Uh... All right. So he takes his punches and, ah, ah, and he keeps spotering his way over. <laughs> Spoder on over. And he is going to, uh, he's going to go ahead and stab Minerva. Do it. Come on, phone up. Yeah, go. <laughs> this blanket is so soft. Oh my mm-hmm. god. Please be that 20. With advantage, a 7. <laughs> Believe it or not, that actually hits. Mm-hmm. And that's his turn. Mm-hmm. I'm going to stick my tongue out and I'm just like, miss me, bitch. <laughs> All right, great. You consume your reaction. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now that's the end of that round. So we go back to the top of Olaf. Cool. Uh, are either of these things bloody? No. No? No. Cool. Uh, spider number two is the one we've been focusing, so the actual spider, I'm throwing hands. Throw hands at that spider. Uh, man, the fact that it's not actually bloody, eh, fuck it. I feel like it's not got a billion spell slots. I let her can cast it at will and fuck it anyway. Uh, 24. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, we're gonna eat this man with hands. Uh, that's ten. Ten bludgeoning damage with this wonderful... And that's the actual spiders? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Not the fake spiders, the actual spiders. Mm Mm-hmm. Imaginary spiders. (laughs) Get them off! Mm -hmm. I am not a real doctor, but Mm -hmm. I am a real worm. Mm Mm-hmm. I am an actual worm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you punch this spider person Mm -hmm. in the face. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. you right between his six eyes. Mm Mm-hmm. And he recoils back. Mm -hmm. Spider sounds. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we go to stock. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, and that guy in the back is still up. Um, yeah, I'll move. I'll use my bonus action to move my hunter's mark to him, mm-hmm. and I'll run forward. Um, not all the way. I'll st- Yeah, there you go. That way, I get a stone throwing range for my daggers, and uh, I'm gonna throw the first one at him. Cool. I put the dot in. Uh, that is gonna be a 14 to hit. 
That will not hit. All right, and then we'll throw a second one. Uh, that's also a 14 to hit. <laughs> All right. So you... up there with the other bad one. <laughs> uh, and that'll be my turn. Cool. All right. So you watch two daggers fly from between you guys. Just pew, pew. You hear them clatter to the ground. Uh, let me go to Chessa. Yeah, Chessa. Sorry, I have CH. So anytime I look at it, I go Chell. And the Chell's Minerva. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't mean to make You're that fine. confusion when I made I'll my character. I'll just change my name to Minerva. It's fine. <laughs> um, Do it. I'm going to cast Magic Missile on this. This, Yeah, I'm going to send all three. Cool. At, uh, rat Swarm. The, rat, the rats. Mr. Rat Swarm mm-hmm. Spider. <laughs> magic so, Missile has to oh, hit. Oh, that hits. So five for the first one. Two for the second one, and three for the third one. Ten total. Ten force damage to this. Yeah. Spider person. Do you watch the three magic missiles just pew pew collide? (laughs) Shut the. (laughs) 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 The sound effects. (laughs) 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 Magic missile is probably the spell that actually makes that sound. (laughs) Yeah. You hear pew pew. <laughs> collides into the spider. Just, uh, we go to Minerva. Um, so I'm restrained by webs, right? Correct. Would I be able to light myself on fire in an attempt to get the webs off? You not have like a dagger or anything. Oh, I thought like I can't. You can make a strength check to break out of the webs. Okay, that also uh, works. It you doesn't kill me. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Well, I wasn't sure because, like, my arms are tied, so I'm not sure if I could, like, do any of that. I, I suppose you could produce flame on yourself, but right. you'll also take damage. I'll do whatever doesn't cause me damage. Cool. But if the only option Make I a have strength is... Check. <laughs> are you resistant to fire damage? I am. Natural 20. <laughs> 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 yeah, you sh- shatter these webs <laughs> off, uh, and I believe you make... As an action, the restraint. So that does consume your action. Hit the red tab. On the condition. Um. <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't expecting to get out of that. <laughs> uh, and as bonus action, I'm going. To do nothing, I lied. That's my turn. Cool. All right, then we go to Flint. All righty. Uh, second verse, same as the first. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to zip-zap that guy in the face back there with my Eldridge Blast. Zip-zap Try to zap get him. him. Uh, that'll probably hit. That's a 16. That'll hit. Bibbidi-bobbidi-boo. Cool. Cool. And are you hitting the actual spider or the pile of rats? The actual spider, because that's what I have hex on. Cool. Uh, that is 10 points of uh, damage. Nice. Okay. So after your Eldritch Blast collides into, like, the throat region, you watch as blood begins to just kind of, like, pull and spill from its chest down its gross arms. Uh, then we go to Crumb. Gross arms. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, look at Swarm of Rats make spider face. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm gonna cut my hands and just go oh, and I'm going to cast this and it whispers on him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I whisper sweet nothings to wisdom it. Wisdom save. Okay. Uh, that is a twenty-one. Okay, it's a wisdom fourteen save. Um, on a success, you t- I believe. Yep, you take half damage. Be right, right. What? Twelve. Going the wrong way. Yeah, that's fifteen. Half of fifteen. Seven. Seven. Yeah. 
Because it's half round down. You're taking uh, psychic damage, too. Cool. And that's on pile of rats? On pile of rats. All right. Nope. That's not the right number. That's what I wanted. Cool. All right. And you watch as the spider just... Uh, <laughs> tries to fight off the... I'm just so tired of this. <laughs> I need my coffee, please. <laughs> and then we go to spider number two, uh, which is the actual spider. Spider. Yep. spider. Um, <clears throat> they are going to stab into Minerva. Do it. Just let's get stabbed. <laughs> what are they stabbing with? Do they have... A dagger. A dagger. They're holding a dagger. Because don't they have, arm. like, people arms up front? Like uh-huh. Regular arms. Real long people arms. Take that. Uh, <gasps> it's a 15. Self. Does not mm-hmm. hit. Mm-hmm. Yep. Some mm-hmm. half spider. Mm-hmm. Oh, and misses. We can go spoder number three. Mm-hmm. He's kind of surrounded by everybody. No, he's up, isn't he? No. No, he's He decided down. to be able to attack. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, he is gonna... Yeah, is he, um... What's it called? That was a condition where you're, like... Flanked? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he's pretty well flanked, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's... He's just gonna stab somebody. Somebody stab. <laughs> Probably either somebody me or Olaf. Uh, yeah, yeah I mean, I'm bloody as fuck in my back. I mean, I turned around to punch him in the face, so I mean... But I'm bloody as fuck. He's gonna stab Olaf, then. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. fair. No, he's not. <laughs> Catch it. <laughs> was it a six? So then you're looking at an 11 to hit. Nope. Fair. So he no, ah, no. misses. Uh-huh. Doesn't connect. Mm-hmm. Back to the top of the wall. Cool. Yeah. Uh, two hands together and fucking hammer fist down on this dude's head. I like it. <laughs> Fuck you. Nope. Ten. Yes, yeah, so you swing your arms down and he just kind of dips <laughs> to the side. Mm. I'll use my bonus action and second win and heal a little bit. But that is me. I hit for 14. Cool. I'm going to stalk. All right. Now we're going to throw some daggers. Uh, the first one is a 24 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> uh, 13 piercing damage. Nice. And that's on actual spider pile of rats? Pile of rats. I like how we're identifying these now. Mm-hmm. Cool. That was the first one, right? Yep, that was the first one. And uh, if Pile of Rats is still up, uh, that's where I'm throwing the second dagger. Yep, they're still up. Pile of Rats. That was my mother's name. Pile of Rats. <laughs> Pile of rats. 19 to hit. 19 will hit. And that one will be for less. Uh, but not really, because dice are cool. Uh, <laughs> 12. Nice. <laughs> Piercing. Okay. You can see this other two daggers just pew, pew, and collide into the spider pew, people. Pew, pew, pew. And then we go uh, after Stalk. It's going to be Chessa. Nice. I'm, so we have the one in front of me, the pile of rats. How are they looking? Very bad. Mm-hmm. Very, like, mm-hmm. extremely bloody, barely standing up. What about the other one? Pretty bloody. Never better. <laughs> I feel fine. I'm gonna look at this one in front of me. I'm so weak. And then I'm just gonna look over to the one that's been attacking Minerva, and I'm gonna cast Frostbite on that one. That the spider one. Spider mm. two. Sure. Um, the actual it's, spider. Yeah. Mm. Con save. I missed. <laughs> that's a c- eight. That's gonna fail. Nice. It's going to be two frost damage. <laughs> and, it, and it has Climbing disadvantage up. on the next weapon attack. Which is good, yeah. Because it's actually attacking with a weapon. <laughs> good. As opposed to the one that was not. Maybe one more damage than the last one. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was if, double if, the damage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Times two. <laughs> Come on, we're, we're moving on up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> moving it's on only, up. It's only a d6, so the chances of rolling low are pretty fair. Yeah, yeah, pretty, yeah. Good. pretty good. Mm-hmm. Well, and we go to the next person, Minerva. That's me. Um, yeah, so the guy that shot that stupid restraining stuff is going to catch these hands. <laughs> the web? Yeah. The restraining order. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How dare you cast your restraining order on me? Go ahead and hit him. <laughs> You've activated my does a, uh, does a nine hit? Sure oh, doesn't. Great. 
Mm-hmm. You swing your morning star down at the Spider Man. Fuck you. Miss. Thank you, Spider Man. If you're new here, you join us fighting Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Uh, Listen, we fought Aquaman last night. So mm-hmm. Have the Friday, spiders so. been making any noise? Like, are they speaking at all? Or maybe Maybe like chittering. Mm-hmm. You but know. not like speaking like or saying. Like squirrels? <laughs> not like, like people faces. Yeah, like that. Like that. <laughs> the machine guns? Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody speak Uzi? <laughs> I mean, I'll say they, they do have a language, but they haven't spoken. Mm-hmm. Um, so we go to Flint. Yeah. Uh... Got a pile of rats and a pile of rats. Uh, inspired by uh, Crom's <laughs> previous action, I'm also going to cast Dissonant Whispers, uh, targeting <laughs> that guy right there. Okay. Spider uh, two. Yeah, so I'm gonna do the same thing and just. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. You're a train in the distance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very scary train. Uh, Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you have to make a wisdom save. <laughs> it's a 21. Mm-hmm. Sorry, a 20. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. 21. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My damage is half as tasty. Sorry, Con. It's a 19 on the die. Seven points of damage. Okay. On Spoder 2, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Ooh. <laughs> and you see it. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? More spider sounds. These guys aren't afraid of trains. <laughs> Good to know, really. Yeah. And then we go to Crumb. <laughs> you just helping Thomas do it. <laughs> yeah, just keep helping Make Thomas. It stop! Stop! <laughs> Anything. Uh, not him. <laughs> not him. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and utilize my bonus action to uh, cast Shillelagh. Uh, I'm gonna walk up behind Spoder Boy there, and I'm gonna club him with my bone mace. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Go ahead and club him. Seventeen. That'll hit. Oh, mm-hmm. God. Nine points of magical bludgeoning damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Squash that spider. Mm-hmm. Cool. He's I'm now also very, very bloody. Good from mm-hmm. the spider. It's now his turn. Mm-hmm. And he's gonna... He's gonna spider, spider bite at uh, Minerva. Do it! Let's go. Or no, I'm, I'm sorry, not spider bite. He's gonna spider stab. Oh. Alright. Just spider with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> the spider's got a gun! Spider knife. <laughs> <laughs> that is a 10 to hit. It sure doesn't. And I also stick my tongue out at that one. You missed me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll spoder three. Mm, pile of rats. And it's a pile of rats. <laughs> the pile of rats is going to attempt to hit, I guess, Olaf. Sure. Because you're there. He's Meredith. I am Meredith there. Pile of rats. That's a nine. <laughs> uh oh. Can somebody hit something? Right? Somebody hit something. <laughs> <laughs> Spider stabs forward. He... Spider! Stab somebody! Smacking our weapons on the floor. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make a new rule for my like house games, like mm-hmm. off-stream games, that if you go X amount of rounds in combat, you all just stop, shake hands, and walk away. Good deal. Good deal. Fair enough. Yeah, good enough. Good day. Good day. Let's be on our way. Meet again tomorrow at sundown. Incredibly. <laughs> and we go back to Olaf. Break for lunch. Cool. Uh, yeah, I can't really see. Is the rat swarmy one like? actually Directly. flanked by us mm-hmm. like yeah he's already okay. surrounded cool Fully. yeah no i guess if if we're getting a little fed up of this i'll pull out my great axe <laughs> it's time no more it's time <laughs> yeah if you're getting super flanked you're getting the axe uh yeah it's a uh, 17 plus the flanking yeah that it's hits. absolutely catching these fucking he's beautiful. catching this axe beautiful axe uh, 12 12 slashing <laughs> 12 slashing? Uh-huh. Describe how you kill the pile of rats. Yeah, I'll just slow pull out the axe, just hold it over its head, and just, like, line it up, catch the second hand, and just go right down on it. Right down between the two mm-hmm. sets of eyes. Mm-hmm. 
Just just split it open. It's very dead. Very good. How's the other one look? Very bloody. Cool. I'm just gonna look at it. <laughs> We're gonna stalk. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, I'll move forward a little bit. Uh, yank uh, two daggers out of that one that were stuck in it because I'm running out of daggers and throw them at this. <laughs> and uh, throw them at the next one. I like it. Fuck them up. Uh, that is a 13 to hit. That will help. help. <laughs> we'll throw the second one. No, it's a 13 to hit. <laughs> help! Help! <laughs> I've all thrown right. so many knives today. <laughs> That's all I got. I've forgotten. Well, it's bonus about. action to move Hunter's Mark to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is this one also considered flanked? Not really. I can't say. Not really. No. There's because it's up against the wall, two. and then it's it's flank. It's gotta be another creature. It can't but, be up against the wall. Yeah, because it's Chell mm -hmm. Spider Me. Then it's All plus two. Wall. If you guys are yeah. opposite sides and you can draw a line through, then it is plus yeah. two. Doesn't mm -hmm. work for okay. range, though, right? Correct. Yeah. And we go to Chessa. I mean, I can help with that. <laughs> and flank. <laughs> All right, everybody, start kicking. Reach out. <laughs> grab this one, shocking grass. Mm -hmm. Reach out, Just touch me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's going to be a 17 to hit. That'll hit. Get too old for this shit. Nope, that's Ooh. the one, guys. That's gonna be four lightning damage. Four? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you grab hold of him and just. And he spider shakes. <laughs> Assuming he's not wearing metal. He's not wearing metal. Okay, yeah. And he can't take a reaction until the start of his next turn. Cool. Which Jeez. means I'm going to. Uh, no, I'm gonna stay there so we get. That's why I put myself there. Mm -hmm. And we got a Minerva. Eat that ass. Going to fight him. <laughs> Gonna hit him with my morning Should star. Eat that ass. Yeah. <laughs> That's what that ass. I heard. That's what I heard. <laughs> uh, it's nice. with advantage, right? Because uh, what's it called? He's Flank. flanked, right? He's not flanked. He's he, got three. He, fl He's got four. There are tiers to flanking. <laughs> right. So, so it's we are at the two, first tier. Five, and he, she is now at the plus five bonus because right. there are three quarters. So right. it's three quarters flanking. Right. What okay. she was asking if he he was fully flanked, so she got advantage. Oh. Okay. So it's not advantage. It's plus. It's plus, plus five, five to your hit. Okay. Well, that's an 18 mm -hmm. on the you die. Hit, yeah, okay. You got him. Um, uh, seven points of piercing damage. Describe how you kill that Spider-Man. I just have an utter look of rage in my eyes after he got me with the spider web, and I'm just sick of this Is fucking spider web. Spider hair. Yeah, I hate still. Uncle Ben. Right. <laughs> he deserves your time. rice is awful. <laughs> I'd steal his car again. <laughs> Justice. <laughs> so they are all very, very dead. Good. Cool. Uh, in the room out ahead of you, where they were, um, you just see masses of spider webs. Gross. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. very thick with spider webs. Has the fire spread to them at all? Not to that room yet. Mm hmm. Like, it burns through them quickly, but it, it takes some time. I'm going to just produce flame and try and, like, take it all down as much as like I can. burn it all down? Burn mm -hmm. it all down. Uh, I'll, I'll contribute mm -hmm. to your flames that you're throwing to control flames to throw them where they need to go. Yeah, I'll hold the torch up and run through the room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go into the other room. <laughs> I'm going to collect all my daggers, and then I'll help with my teacup. I want to examine these spider people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. We're going to go around to Elias. Mm -hmm. Yep. You burn all the spider webs out, and you can see that in this room, uh, there's a pretty notable absence of, like, pickaxe marks, so clearly these spiders must have been here for a while, occupying this room, preventing it from being mined. Now that the webs are more burnt away, you can see where there's, like, ore, or, like, veins of ore running through the walls that have been previously unharvested because of the occupation of the spiders in this room. We're going to come back to Olaf. Uh -huh. You inspect the spiders. Mm -hmm. They all have a dagger. They've got six green eyes in a line, three on one, three on the other. Mm -hmm. They're very bloody and dead. That's that's all they have. Like they yeah. don't have any armor or any jewelry or insignias nope. or anything like that. Gucci belt. <laughs> <laughs> got got they they are wearing a Gucci belt. <laughs> they actually have dollar sign necklaces. <laughs> yeah, they're just super bloody and dead. We go to, to man to find Gucci slides. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I want eight of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we take them from all of them, we got everybody's yeah, right. Go ahead and grab one of those, uh, one of them there, poison daggers, and hand it to Stalk. Oh, yeah, no. Is this I'll... something that you would want? 
I'll grab it and look around for the other ones for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they each had one, so you're able to get like three of their. I'll say you can get three daggers coated in their poison. That'll be good for like an attack each. Sure, mm-hmm. not fair. Huh? I'll uh, yeah. I'll, no, no, I guess I'll while we're doing that, I'll sit down and start shuffling daggers around because I've already got ten strapped to my body, so I can't imagine <laughs> I can fit too many more. So we're gonna sub out some uh, old ones, and mm-hmm. I'll be doing that for a minute while well, you got a holding case too. You mm-hmm. can just put them in the in the oh, pillowcase. Oh, totally. Case. I just feel like <laughs> having you need, forty like, a daggers bag. on yeah. me is, is weird. <laughs> so. <laughs> So many daggers. Yeah, I'm going to assume my armor can't handle much more cat. than 10 after any. <laughs> He's like a cactus. <laughs> yes. 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 starting to look like a hedgehog. Just <laughs> grow up in a ball. It's all <laughs> like that. At what point do you start losing stealth because of all the knives? Yeah, no, that's together. what I'm saying. I, ha- I have, have so many. Why are you still staring? <laughs> <That's> so <cool. laughs> Is it the cactus? It's the cactus. Hey, Trell, make a con save. No! <laughs> that could be catastrophic. You fail, you're dead. <laughs> it's a natural 20. It doesn't matter, you fail, you're dead. Um, you fail, you're dead. Alright, so Olaf in that room. You Olaf. can see this room is littered with, you know, swords, daggers, broken, dilapidated weapons that once were usable and no longer are. Mm-hmm. They look awful. This is a shit room. There's a bunch of different <laughs> rooms. This, room, this room's a piece of shit. Just being here makes you angry. <laughs> it's Terrible. It's, it's, so it's a prom date. Mm. Yes, it's a real piece of shit. It's gonna be real, uh, real piece of shit. <laughs> Through at you know you see the debris field. It's all kind of leading toward the, this back right corner. Cool. Uh, in that back right corner, you see the pile, just a pile of what is clearly bodies, mm-hmm. just humanoid bodies, just piled mm-hmm. one on top of the other. Mm-hmm. And in the center, you can see just like a, uh, like it looks almost like an antenna, just kind of like poking up out of the middle. It's kind of like hand cup shaped, and it's just kind of like. It's it's actively moving. Yeah, just looking around. Oh yeah, I'm I'm walking right over that fucker. What was it? A tentacle sticking out of a pile of bodies. Good. Get within like five feet of it. How high is the pile of bodies, and how high is the antenna? Like how much <laughs> antenna stalk is visible? Right. And it, like total I'll, height of this thing. I'll say the antenna stalk is very close to uh, to the bottom. Okay. And as far as how big is the pile of bodies, it's pretty fucking big. Okay, so it is a tall pile, like six feet high, seven feet high? Yeah, probably Okay, and then you said the antenna is towards the bottom, so like maybe only a foot or two off the ground, or? It's coming out of the top of the pile. Oh, okay, so it is a foot or two more off the height of the body. Yeah. Cool, yeah, no, I would absolutely walk over to this thing then, and it's about my height. I would just pause and just wave at the eye. Hi. (laughs) <laughs> you would hear in uh, your mind not uh, audibly you would just hear I don't know what you're saying you say that you're not able to respond so cool. you, you think that but you, no indication that it uh yeah. understands uh. Mm-hmm. and you still standing there Oh yeah, absolutely. I'll I'll stop waving and I'll just gesture at the bodies. It's yours. And into your mind once again. <laughs> Can I have one? <laughs> Would we hear? Or is he thinking this? Like, are you thinking this? Or are you ta- speaking your thoughts? I would out be loud. attempting to speak. But, like, if this is established a telepathic link, I also would absolutely be attempting to communicate telepathically. Fair. If I can communicate telepathically to it. Fair. Mm. After. The yeah, I ask if I could have one. It goes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and two tentacles out cool. from the side and begin converging on Olaf. Cool. Uh, one hits. Twenty four. Yep. The other is uh, eleven. Cool. Eleven. Yeah. Yep. So one hits. I'm just gonna grab India. Mm-hmm. Uh, if the target is medium or smaller, are you still large? Uh, I did not use giant smite in this, so yes, I'm absolutely still medium. Cool. It. You are grappled and restrained. Cool. Uh, so that's it's just got a hold of you. Uh, was I taking damage from the hit? No. Yes. 
<laughs> I, I'm only asking because so, if it's dealing damage, that would to me indicate that I can't oppose the grapple check. If it's a genuine grapple check, I can oppose the grapple gotcha. check. Gotcha. So it is dealing damage. Okay. Cool. It's um I just read over it because I was looking for the grapple effect. Nope. You're good. Uh, you tell me what I'm taking. Yeah, and then of course after this we're gonna roll for initiative. Mm -hmm. um, it's gonna be seven bludgeoning damage. Okay. And oh, I capped that. Oh no, uh, eight piercing. Cool. And you are grappled as it flings a tentacle out and grabs you. Mm -hmm. Cool. Would you say that I theoretically can see this creature? Yeah, I'll say now you can identify where it is. Sure. Cool. Uh, at the conclusion of whatever would be perceivably its thing's turn, mm -hmm. I'll use my reaction and, and uh, please make a wisdom saving throw as I attempt to charm you. The DC is 13. <laughs> hey. What? Hey, big boy. You're doing what? <laughs> He's oh, going to hug so me. I'm going to hug him right back. Hit him with a wink. <laughs> that is a dirty 20. Okay, you got it. But He's not into it. Playing hard to get, I see. Right? <laughs> Oh, I'm taking you, your body. What are you... Actually, <laughs> what am I? Yes. What am I, Sarah? Oh, you should know better. <laughs> Actually, I think what we'll do, because uh, we're getting pretty close, not in, definitely not enough time to go through this. We'll do our roll initiative, or I'll do the thing that's happening. We'll roll uh -huh. initiative, and then we'll call it there for tonight. Mm -hmm. Sure. Cool. So after the tentacle flings out and grabs Olaf, mm -hmm. you see, like, the form of the... Uh, it would just be you, I guess, because you're the only one in here. Yeah. Uh, at this point, you guys would start to hear, like, actual Emotion. sounds. Yeah. Um, you see, Olaf, you see the form mm -hmm. of the bodies, like, kind of beginning to shake and, like, crumble down as if, like, a mountain's falling. Mm -hmm. And soon you see what stands up out of the top, what looks like it has almost the head of a bullet, mm -hmm. but a four, like, quadruped body. Mm -hmm. It is very brown. <laughs> As opposed to a little brown. <laughs> oh well, it is very oh, brown. Yeah, that is extremely uh -huh. brown. Okay. Cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cute. It's a dog. Definitely oh, a dog. Bark. That's why I tried to charm it, man. Mm -hmm. Just looking for, just looking for a good pet. Who's yeah. <laughs> a good boy? And you see that just oh, kind of like yeah. shuffle its way out of the pile of corpses, mm -hmm. and it. Oh. <laughs> Uh, so now everyone else would have heard that, uh -huh. and we'll roll initiative there. Real okay. quick, did uh -huh. it sound primordial, the noise it was no. making? Okay. As, in, like, as in the language? Yeah. Definitely not. Damn it. Oh no. <sighs> Just digital die roller since my physical dice are bad today. <laughs> <laughs> it went much better. Uh, Flint, what you got? Uh, I have a 12. Cool. Chessa? 16. Olaf? 11. Crom? Nine. Minerva? Six. And Stalk? Nineteen. Cool. So this boy is going to lead us off next week. Great. Good, good boy. Bark. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yep. And this is going to be a good time. I'm mm -hmm. excited. Very good. Well, friends, thank you very, very much for watching this evening. Uh, Appreciate you all being here tonight. Volpix, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Uh, and then we had Little in with the resub, CMS with the resub, uh, and Spock the Wizard with the follow. Uh, we really appreciate it, friends. If you're new here, make sure you follow us so you can find us again. Uh, and we'll be back on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, weather permitting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye, friends. <laughs>